everybody. I'm David Crennan. You might know me as the DM from Never Tell Me the Odds, the Star Wars RPG here on Saving Throw. But tonight, I'm bringing you a very different game, Pig Smoke, or possibly Pig Smoke. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Yeah, pig certain smoke. eloquence to it. Yeah. yeah. And then everyone at the university can get really upset when people call it pig smoke. Yeah, I like this Pig smoke. Yeah. Like the river, right? We're right next to the pig smoke river. That makes sense. Yes. So what are we talking about? Pig smoke is a (laughs) Kickstarter currently on Kickstarter. This is going to be good. Fancy. So uh, pig smoke is on Kickstarter. It's an RPG setting, RPG using the uh, Dungeon World, Apocalypse World dice system, but it's its own complete little self-contained system where instead of being barbarians or wasteland survivors battling for supremacy, you are academics in the modern day at a university trying to get tenure. And you have magic at your disposal. Uh, You probably have wands, or it could be anything, really. They don't get too specific. It's a very general system. It fits kind of any concept you have but the overall idea is it's like Harry Potter if you're playing the teachers and you're in charge of a bunch of teenagers who have wands and can kill people and can teleport around and stuff and that would be tough plus you got to publish or you get thrown out of the university so that's fun uh, yeah so it's like that and it's mixed with a bit of the absurdity of Terry Pratchett's the unseen university that whole kind of Uh, book series, if you know that, just combined with the general burnout of people who have worked in the university system. Right, Talene? That's right. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I spent some time teaching as well, so this is bringing back memories. And we were all all college students, right? Mm -hmm. That's okay for not. Hardly. (laughs) Good, even better. Hardly. Even better. Okay, so uh, this is a game brought to you by a... Oh, I better get his name right. (laughs) Details. Yeah, details. Uh, You're doing this like I'm editing it. I know. (laughs) So this game is brought by uh, Chris Longhurst. Chris Longhurst is the creator. Hi, Chris. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sending this advanced copy to us for us to play through and review. Uh, I want to read to you guys the little intro that we kind of need to know, and then we'll get right into creating your characters, and then we'll get right into a little academic minutia. You guys pumped up? Yeah. 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 Woo! Yeah. So excited. Okay, so... Pig Smoke, Pig Smoke, is a role-playing game about being the faculty at Pig Smoke, America's foremost college of magic. When you play it, you and your friends will tell a story about a handful of plucky academics and their struggle against the vicissitudes of faculty life as they pursue tenure and the stability that comes with it. Also, those academics, <coughs> academic, also those academics can cast spells. <laughs> this does not make anything easier for them. Do we all go to college? That's a great question. <laughs> I would assume so. Oh, you mean me? Yeah. Obviously, <laughs> Just... I'm so smart. <laughs> thought my massive intelligence would make us realize that. Okay. Um, so, Pig Smoke is home to hundreds, maybe even thousands, probably thousands, thousands of students, dozens, maybe even hundreds of faculty members from the lowly TA to the mighty dean of the school. Each of you are are in your own department. There are several different departments. There's the Department of Life and Death, or kind of necromancy, if you want to call it that. There's the Department of Elements, which kind of blow things up because it's like fire, earth, wind, thunder, okay? Uh, And then there are four other departments, which I think all of you guys have chosen. Um, Let's just go around the table, if we can. And tell us, um, let's just start with the department. Anyone just want to tell us what your department uh, is, starting with uh, Blythe over here? All righty. My department is the Department of Mind Bending, which is super exciting. I had to try and stay away from life and death because of misadventure. <laughs> 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 so I can't do necromancy. That's right. Okay, so that's right. Mind bending, which is illusions, mind reading, uh, controlling thoughts. Hypnosis. Hypnosis. The Department of Foresight. Seeing the future of fortune telling, crystal balls, divination, awesome. Celine? Uh, the Department of Alchemy, making stuff into gold. Yep. All the stuff. <laughs> All so the stuff, stuff will now be gold. Everything on this table will be gold by the end. It's of gold now! Oh! <gasps> there's, wow. a, there's an informal rivalry between, actually, between the Department of Alchemy and the Department of Foresight about which can make more money. 
<laughs> it's on now. Well, a lot of horse betting and stock market playing into the Department of Foresight. Sure, I had sure. that that sportsman's al almanac, you know. The, the one from the future. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and last but not so least, you're the reason. I, I'm in the apart the Department of Kabsa, which is uh, uh, calling, binding, and sealing away. Ooh. Yeah. Concerns nice. itself with summoning, banishing, mm -hmm. binding demons, mm -hmm. extraterrestrial entities, extra dimensional entities. All sorts of gooey, slimy, tendril creatures yep. in a general sense. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, cool. So those are the different departments at this university. Um, but pig smoke is a modern place of learning. Pig smoke is everything you'd expect from a 21st century American university. Campus Wi-Fi, computer labs, <laughs> science labs, sports facilities, and the teams that use them. Lecture theaters, classrooms, steam tunnels, a library, coffee shops, cheap restaurants open very late at night. Campus bars with an amazing tolerance for fake IDs, the works. <laughs> However, as an arcane university, Pig Smoke also possesses mist shrouded graveyards, strange monuments that don't quite align with regular space time, alchemical <laughs> laboratories filled with bizarre components, haunted paintings, animate graffiti, buildings that only exist during certain astronomical alignments, towers, spires, pentagrams and lonely spots where one can brood while overlooking campus, and more. So, administratively, pig smoke is divided into several departments, which we've briefly addressed already, all overseen by the dean's office. A tangled bureaucracy which operates according to its own inscrutable rules. It sets targets and budgets, monitors departmental objectives, and imposes its will with implacable constructs of lead and bronze. So, you know literal golems that like stomp around and make sure you're filing your tax returns on time. Tax returns? Uh, syllabi. Syllabi. And grades. Tax grades. Tax the student and, outcomes. Uh, SLO. I mean the magical tax returns. Those are yeah, separate, like, I don't right? think they're supposed to really pay attention to our tax returns. W-2s? They're you supposed to fill that out? They would have to, yeah, but like they As in every job, like at the beginning, yeah. Okay, I'll take that as a win for David. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly intelligent, these arcane enforcers know dozens of ways to deny requests for mercy. Mm. Students either live near the campus or on on-campus dormitories. Um, these being students, there are often egregious mishaps, which have to be cleaned up by the maintenance staff. Men and women rapidly turn to bitter and hard-eyed by the endless <laughs> parade of magical disasters they're meant to take care of. How much therapy are you going to need after this? What? How this, much therapy like this is my therapy. Oh, is it? Okay. Someone is going to die tonight. Uh, it's going to make me feel so good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Chris Longhurst probably feels the same way as you. He is admittedly a, uh, a former academic himself, and this is where this all came from, <laughs> yeah. time in the university. Okay, so any disasters which leave people hurt or dead also fall under the purview of the medical wing, a secretive clique of doctors and viviamancers who brook no interference in their work, even from the dean's office. In return... They perform miracles and occasional atrocities of healing and transformation. When there's no other option, the medical wing can heal you, but there's no knowing what other experiments they may perform at the same time. And the faculty? Well, they've got their own problems, as we'll soon find out. Okay, so I had you guys talk about your departments before you introduced yourselves. Let's rectify that. Let's go around the table and get a little who you are. Uh, your character's name, and then what I want to do is part of the game, a big part of this game, is actually creating your characters with everyone else at the table. So we're going to have some questions we're going to ask. There's going to be some big decisions to make, and then we'll go from there and we'll jump right into Pig Smoke, pig smoke and um, file some tax returns. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start on this side of the table, if we may. All uh, right. Who um, are you? I am the rock star is my, my title, and I am Melisande Belmont. Everyone just calls me Mel. It's a lot easier. Mel. Okay, that's a good note. And who are you as a as a, as a player? Who are you as a person? Who is in real life? In real life, please. In real life, I'm Blythe, and um, I'm not that interesting. I just kind of I kind of live here most of the time. You know. Mm -hmm. That's so. actually uh, you, you guys probably <laughs> recognize all of these all of this, yes. the Magic Girl Squad. I don't know <laughs> if that's overstepping my bounds, but from <laughs> Misadventures. Right? Yes, that's yeah. a thing we do. It that is. is a thing we all do. Which is the Harry Potter 
Pathfinder mechanic, eh, homebrewed. Pathfinder-ish? Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It has a, a Susan of Pathfinder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the character sheets are Pathfinder. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that is Pathfinder. We just ignore most of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah precisely. Which yeah. Talene is the GM of, and that's uh, every other Wednesday night right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. yes. If you want to see some of the best, like, homemade maps and things you've ever seen in your entire life. The best. The best. Not, not the best. The best. The best. We disagree no. with you. The best. There's, I love there's better ones on these walls. <laughs> uh, no, there's no, not. There's really not. There's not. Uh, do you see a pop-up library on yeah. those? Do I see, don't. Okay. Do you see three dimensions? Accept the praise. Accept it. The pop-up library was a, the cut was out, a, was a yeah. great achievement. The pop-up library. And remember the salsa jar with some chocolate milk in it? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I forgot about that. I do remember that. Oh, my God. And I, I, it was interactive. I it was think interactive. I have some of the handwritten notes still that you do. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. I spent wow. too much time on this. Is do we have dice weird. cam? Cambot? <laughs> Can't bot. <laughs> Look at that. Look, this this woman puts Jolene so much work that. into it. Tenmin she bought, yo. She bought calligraphy pens for yeah, that. Yeah, just to make this look legit. So you should tune in to Misadventures. She totally. Every other Wednesday, hopefully every Wednesday coming up at some point here. But yes, she's the best. I've chosen <laughs> not to compete with Tulene on any level tonight, so there will be no <laughs> maps, no calligraphy. It's theater of the mind. Theater of the mind. And tax returns. <laughs> yes. I don't want to think about that right now. I'm here to not think about those things. One of your skills is bureaucracy, so uh, we'll see if I make you think about that or not. But okay. <laughs> I'm the one who gets out of everything. That's what the rock star does. That's right. So Blythe, you are playing <laughs> Mel. Mel is, as you called uh, her, I assume, Melisandre, yes. a rock star. Um, so you're going to see this from everybody as we go around. In Pig Smoke, you have a role, like a social role, and an academic department. You can think of that kind of like your race and your class. <laughs> so you're yeah. the rock star who is a mind bender in the department of mind bending. That's right. Okay, <laughs> up next, Mac, do you wanna? Yeah, I mean, do you want me to describe her too or just the, the top level stuff here? Mm, let's do yeah, top not. level, and then right. we'll get into the details in a minute. Right. I'm Mac Bouvet, as noted. I am on Misadventures. I'm also on uh, Phoenix Dawn Command uh, every Saturday. That's also awesome. Both those games I play usually sort of a rampaging wolf person thing of some sort. <laughs> I'm not doing that tonight. Uh, instead, I am playing the Slacker class with my character Bridget Maelstrom. Bridget Maelstrom. Gotcha. I like it. Okay, Slacker, and we already know from you, you're in the Foresight Department. Yep. Great, Bridget. Okay, on the other side of the table, who do we got? All right, I am Rebecca Joyner, i.e. Bex. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to all have nicknames. Um, I'm not. I I'm refuse. Not either, don't, worry. don't worry, I'll come on. I'm going to have a nickname, no. and it's going to be Bex. Okay, Bex. Yeah, <laughs> like cool Bex. <laughs> not like lame Bex. Are you Scottish? No. It's a very common nickname in like. I was going to say, very British. You went for the yeah. British. Yeah, I know. It did. I was Bex. very British. I like uh, it. It's. Uh, I have an affectation. I am the fake, so you know what? My character speaks with a fake British accent as well. Yes. The fake. So this is important. So yes. the social roles so far rock star, which is like, you know, is probably. Grew up in a Oklahoma. Want people to think I'm more exotic. Put on a. Oklahoma is really exotic. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Grew up in I've Kansas. Uh, <laughs> rock star, super cool happening. Everybody wants to be the rock star. Bad boy gets into trouble or bad gal. Slacker is the slacker. We, we all are the slacker. We get that. Skating by. <laughs> Skating by. That's right. <laughs> Under the radar. Uh, you are the fake. I'm the fake. I'm really curious to see. So you can't actually cast I spells. can't do magic at all. <laughs> 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 I'm Just, here at this magical school teaching people to do magic. Can't do it at all. So I'll have some Those questions. Those who can't do teach. <laughs> <laughs> a really perplexing, yeah, why you would be here, what's going on. So we have questions for you. Okay, but last but not least, Megan, hi. Hi, I am Megan Kames, and I also play in Misadventures, of course, and uh, our Black Bag, uh, well, it's called a Cthulhu game, it's called Black Bag uh, every other Friday. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I also stream co op video games on Mondays. Uh, it's called Couples Therapy. Hey, couple. So, hey, couple. So um, I am playing Katrin Schreier, and I am the git. Katrin? Katrin. K-A-T-R-I-N. Katrin. Katrin mm -hmm. Schreier. And I think this little bit right here at the top of this is really good for the git. If okay. the students aren't scared of you, you're doing it wrong. The git. So as I pointed out, it so is. You're the Snape. Yeah. Kind of. Or just the old burnout who just, well, you hate kids because you've been teaching long enough. 
just intimidating and mean. Well, maybe that. <laughs> maybe you secretly like them. <laughs> okay, so those are your characters. So uh, when you guys play Pig Smoke, for you, those of you at home who are thinking about backing this, and like I said, it is on Kickstarter, so check it out. Uh, you start by choosing your two playbooks. In that case, it's your, your role and your department. You all have chosen that already. Name, we have that. Let's, uh, let's talk about your look and your classroom details. So I'm going to go around. We know your name. We'll start with Mel. Can I put you on the spot, Mel? Oh, no. What, sure. So you can describe what does Mel look like. And the, uh, we actually have some, some, I think, a little bit of, no, they don't help you out at all. I thought no. they were going to give you some stuff. Uh uh. Nope. Okay. There was somewhere. There's in all somewhere. your yeah. department. It's in my oh, department. There's some After department name. Stuff. There's aisle, eyes, style. Oh yeah. Classroom. There's some like. Okay. If you are in this department, you have like this aesthetic. That's exactly right. So on your department, there's yes, and those are suggested, but you could be completely oh. unlike any and all of those. So there's also right underneath that. There's a little bit on classroom details. So it's going to describe because you all get a classroom. You start with classroom. Ooh. You start with a couple little things because you're not making a lot of money. You're all teachers. So what you all start with are a smartphone, some form of motivate, like a locomotion so you can get around, uh, although probably not super nice. Or super can mine fancy. be a segue? <laughs> Do uh, it. A segue? Yeah. Yes, absolutely it could be a segue. So make a note on your sheet that you have a segue. So this falls under stuff. And I'll just read to you guys uh, the stuff that everybody gets to start with. Stuff. Give me that stuff. Okay. Stuff. So you're assumed to have the usual accoutrements of a modern American academic, including but not limited to a cell phone, probably a smartphone, a laptop, old but good enough, stickers optional, all the occult paraphernalia you might need for everyday spell casting. Those could be wands. I'm not sure all of you guys are wand casters. That yeah. is not required in this world. Wand. You're a wand caster. <laughs> Fake. I'll be curious to know what you carry around to deflect attention. No wand? I hope it's just I, I was, I was like, oh, ah. oh I, loved it. <laughs> I, I, I loved it in my other coat. You have a reasonable apartment or a cruddy house, your choice. Some sort of personal vehicle or detailed knowledge of local public transport. <laughs> so you could have a segue or you could know all the metro stops. Okay, a segue, actually, now that we're talking about this, a segue is too expensive for me, but... Not if you got off Craigslist secondhand. Or you can get plans for a homemade Segway <laughs> and build it from hardware parts. So that makes sense. That's going to be I a did. magical conveyance, or is it more mundane than that? Uh, it could be magical, but it's going to have to be able to pass for mundane in the city streets, because kind of like uh, in Harry Potter, you're kind of working in a parallel system here to the mundane world. So there's all the all the uh, the mundanes out there. The Mundies. The Mundies. Who it just, you know, they fables got their own joke. thing. What's that? Oh, the fables joke. Yeah, I got it. I, thank you for explaining that. <laughs> yeah, Mondays or, or, I don't know, there's got to be a good slur for people who are mundane. Muggles. Normals. Norms. Yeah, muggles. West America. So, Those people. Yeah, nomadges. The nomadges. Well, but there's got to be a better one than that. So the blanks. <laughs> yeah, so all those guys out there, they can't really catch on to what the university is doing, otherwise it's a headache and paperwork and everything like that. So yes, you get a magical conveyance, but it needs to have like a mundane cover-up. Okay. And also it can't be too nice. Because apartment sucks. Or it could be really nice, but you're gonna have to share it with somebody else so you don't have it all the time. Okay. Okay. Um, the last thing that you have is debt. <laughs> Either student debt or credit card debt, depending on your age. Uh, your department, each of you have a department that provides you with a tiny closet of an office. Oh. A classroom where you hold your lectures, so you do have your own classroom. And something else that you get to choose when you choose your department. We're going to get to that in a second. There's some mm -hmm. suggestions on your department sheet that we'll start working our way through. Okay. Uh, how you decorate your classroom shows off your nature. Your department playbook offers you several examples, which you can either take verbatim or use to fuel your own ideas. Finally, you can choose to upgrade your apartment to nice instead of crappy, I'm sorry, as opposed to reasonable, or your house to reasonable instead of crappy, or your office to spacious instead of cramped if you choose to share it with someone who makes your life difficult. <laughs> Not necessarily someone awful, 
just someone who makes demands on your time and your capacity to cope. So I'm gonna apply, I would apply that to if you want to have a magical conveyance, that's fine. But um, either you've got massive debt you're paying off, or you have to share it with somebody. You've got like a timeshare on your car. People do that, right? No. Pools? Okay, I have a I have an idea because no massive debt doesn't work with the stuff that I get from. That okay. I picked for my thing later. Okay, great. So think about department. that then. What, we don't have to get an immediate answer, but that may come. Oh, up. I already have one, but yeah. anything else? Anything else you need that I did not just lay, uh, list um, must either be requisitioned from the university, or you have to use your purchase order move. Oof. There's a purchase order move you guys can make. It is a, bu a bureaucracy skill check. We'll Ooh, explain right. what that means in a minute. But if you guys, so if you guys are like, I need more tape, <laughs> whatever, right? Like, oh man, I need. Uh, some, what would you need? Coffee for the teacher's lounge. <laughs> I'm sure I can think of a more exciting example. My wand broke. You can make a requisition order, a purchase order move. We'll get into that in a second. Okay, so coming back, circling back around to Blythe. Name we have, you are Melan Mel Melisandre. Melisandre. Mel for short. Mm -hmm. Can you describe what Melisandre looks like? Well, I'm trying to figure out, so how traditional is... Pigs, pig smoke? Pretty traditional. They're, in my mind, they're East Coast. I think they're in between. They're somewhere Boston-ish. They're like a Wharton? Yeah, sure, like a Wharton. Like a, they're the foremost academy of magical learning. So they're pretty fancy, and I think they're pretty stodgy. Wait, foremost? So like a Harvard? Uh, or wait, maybe oldest would be better. So they so it's they, a Yale. they feel like they're the best. <laughs> yeah, they're like the low, lowest tier Ivy League, maybe, but they have I'm the trying longest to figure pedigree. Out the appearance guidelines for a teacher. Well, now if you're new, young, they're probably kind of like, okay, it's 2017. We got to be getting like changed with the times a little bit. So oh, wow. the older faculty, some of whom have maybe been around for a couple hundred years, are like not into it. Yeah. But. It's still a magical school, I imagine. There's some more allowances within that, too. That's absolutely true. Because magic. Okay, well then, she's definitely got colorful hair. That's she's fine. She's kind of constantly changing her hair all the time. Okay, it tonks. Yeah, but, <laughs> like, she has to actually get it dyed because she can't <laughs> change it at will, which okay. is sad. But, so she's, she's that girl who's constantly changing her hair. Um, she's got tattoos, but she usually wears long sleeves. She wears... What color is her hair right now? Uh, blue. Nice. I can't take you places. <laughs> um, she's got some tattoos, but she's usually got them covered because she's usually wearing long sleeves. She that figures that one might be pushing it a little bit. Okay. Um, she figures out every possible way to push the boundary of like business casual, professional clothing. I like it. Okay. So she's like, can I like, I'll wear this blazer, but I'll try to figure out how to put whatever no, no. pins are. Yeah, you blazer with like. Epaulets and like, yeah, just like as much ridiculous patches. as you she are can. The, you are the rock star, so yeah. if anyone can pull it off, it's you. But she's also in the department of mind bending, which is kind of hippy dippy a little bit, mm -hmm. and kind of like free will. Mm -hmm. So she kind of, which is weird because they literally mend mind bend mm -hmm. bend minds. <laughs> I can't say <laughs> words. Um, but she's kind of like she she likes to relax. She's a little she does yoga in her office occasionally, even if it is Whoa. cramped. It's she cramped. is cool. It's cramped. But like she's it. like, she's all new agey and... Okay, I like it. So she's just kind of trying to figure out what boundaries she can push. And pushes them. And pushes them and tries really hard not to get in trouble. I got to see the fashion plate at, at Pig Smoke for sure. And with blue hair, you always stand out. If Matt, you're the oh. if you're the rock star, this means that you did something really cool that yeah. lets you put get away with stuff. Yes. I did cool things a in my time career. The rock star, it's sometimes with the rock star, it's just you're just a brilliant academic. You're just like you're that person who's like always super cool, always chill, doesn't seem to stress that hard, and just has the brilliant like work that they put through because they stay up for three days in a row because they do drugs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> just, she's ready to go. High on magic. <laughs> High on magic. Mac, tell us a little bit about Bridget. What does she look like right now? Okay, so Bridget's kind of. You know, like a little willowy. She's got um, her black hairs in a bun that's secured with pencils. Normally, there mm. it's secured with um, culturally appropriated chopsticks. But sometimes she likes to order Chinese food, and then she gets lazy and she just uses the chopsticks out of her hair. And it's really awkward that one time she came to the class and there was still like orange chicken leavings uh, on it in her hair. Um, <laughs> the way she dresses yep. is like 
You know, like how Snow White is dressed by birds. Now imagine if Snow White was dressed by a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> so mm. it's clothes that fit and are acceptable in public, but maybe don't go so nicely together. Rumpled or just mismatched as well? Both. Okay. Mm. Yes, Rumpled. half of one. <laughs> and, okay, you know. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, interesting. So you're a little bit spacey for someone who can see the future, it sounds like. It just doesn't care. Doesn't care. <laughs> okay, that's good. All right, I like it. Okay, uh, Talene, tell us a little bit about Bex. What is Bex wearing as we, as the dawn well, rises on this new day? Well, what Bex is wearing is wizard's robes with, like, stars and stuff and and like it's not what they wear in America and when people say anything to Beck she's like but it's what we wear in Britain and there's like a hole in her accent always like <laughs> like a word that's that's wrong yeah, and like so it's it. like exactly what you'd expect a wizard to wear wizard hat definitely pointy like Merlin from the cartoon <laughs> Merlin from Sword in the Stone blue robe <laughs> pointy hat stars on it Sandals. So everyone looks at you and is just like immediately is like, ah, wizard. Totally exactly. A wizard. All I can think of is Rincewind with wizard written on his hat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally written on that hat. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so stars, blue robe, every day? Every day, same starry robe and hat? No, change, I change robes. And yeah, when it's appropriate robes. to wear a suit, I wear like the sootiest suit you ever saw. The sootiest? Yeah. Pinstripe? Pinstripe, oh. uh, double-breasted like shoulder, pads. Shoulder, pads. shoulder pads, vest underneath the jacket, wow. everything matches. Go, Rebecca. <laughs> I like it, Bex. All right, solid. So you're sharp. And then is alchemy. I like it. Okay. Uh, and then back over to the uh, the Department of Calling and Binding. Megan? Mm-hmm. Katrin? Katrin. Katrin. Thank mm -hmm. you. Katrin. What is Katrin wearing? This well, this I imagine her sort of you know, like a rose, like she dresses really nice. She's like always, a rose. like a rose, she's always dressed up, but if you touch that rose, it will hurt you. Uh -huh. So she's not somebody you want to go and interact with, but from afar, you're like, oh, she looks nice, she dresses nice, but it's always black, maybe some red. Are you dressed like her right now? Mm -hmm, I was kind of going for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it, I buy it, like the dangerous rose. Okay, I like it. All right, very good. Um, Gosh, yeah, you probably people notice that, huh? Um, do do other do the male faculty members still hit on you? Or probably you, not anymore. Yeah, you shut that down. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like it. All right. Okay, awesome. So, this is what you are wearing this particular day as you guys are arriving early in the morning to the campus, on your way to your respective classrooms. Um, just a couple more things as as the chilly air nips at your guys' nose and ears. Uh, all of your characters have fulfillment criteria. Fulfillment criteria. So this game, unlike most RPGs, is not really focused on combat. It's focused on academia. You guys can get hit and take wounds. If you get hit once, you're hurt. If you get hit a second time, you're taken out. You're done. Uh, and you have to go to the medical wing, and that's where the Viviamancers, like, might do weird, horrible body, like Cronenbergian. It's very Cronenbergian part of the hospital, wow. or of the, of the campus. It's weird, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's, it's uncomfortable over there, but they can fix anything. So they're good at what they do. Uh, they just don't know when to stop doing it. So that's getting hurt. Uh, so you guys, your odds of actually getting killed are pretty low. The bigger worry is getting burned out. out. Mm. Burned out. So you all have a, wow. a, a burnout track, um, or at least you'll want to write one down on your sheet if you don't have one. Nine empty boxes. When you fill up all nine, you can't take it no more and you quit. You Oof. quit or you're fired or possibly you die. Maybe you kill yourself. Something, oh. I know, uh, uh, <laughs> something happens where you're just done with it forever. When three boxes are full, you get called in by your department head and he uh -oh. chews you out in an informal chat. When you get to six boxes, the dean and the department head call you in for a formal chat and when you get to nine, you just you just can't take it anymore, and you get on your Segway and you don't stop. That's right. <laughs> segway right down into the Pig Smoke River. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, normally I would um, normally I would start you guys with zero boxes and with a fresh face, but I want to 
say this game is starting a little bit into your careers, so everybody start with two boxes of burnout already on your sheet. Man! Yeah. So you're all one box away from getting... Grad school was hard. Getting chewed out. <laughs> it's been a tough... It's, 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 uh, it's mid-semester right now. Ugh. You guys started early oh, in the wow. semester, but things are... Vomit. Yeah, it's not great. I like midterms, mid-semester. Wait, worse. Grading midterms, mid-semester? You just finished. Mm. God damn! <laughs> uh. But it's not, all as, it's not all as lost because you have fulfillment criteria. There's something that fulfills you as Ooh. a person. It's the reason that you got into academia, or if not the reason, because the reason you got into academia is to get tenure. To get tenure and not have to bother with any of this ever again. You see all those lucky professors like... Sloughing off. Sloughing off. Stealing food. Sleeping True on their story. couches. <laughs> Um, but your fulfillment is at least something that brings you a little ray of light and lets off steam. You guys all have a couple fulfillment criteria listed on your sheet, on one of your sheets here. We have to choose one? You have to choose just one of them. Is it on your department sheet? Yeah. Or is it on your role? I believe it's on your... Uh... It's on department, which I think is... Yeah. Is it this one? Fulfillment, absolutely, yes, on your department sheet. Great. Well, this is tough. So you have to choose mm. just one of them. Whichever one appeals to you most. Does anyone have one that they think would be good? Do you want, or if not, do you want to read off your various? I have one that I think will be good, but I, I don't know how the game's gonna go. No, I don't either. So like, I feel like greed. I do. That's my department. <laughs> <laughs> How's the game gonna go? Uh, okay, Poorly. Well, it's Dang only, it! Only, so you're in the Department of Alchemy. I'm in order, the Department of Alchemy. Can, I think you have like four options. I have three readable? options. Three. One is scientist. I can regain gain a point if I author or co-author a paper. Greed is the one I'm interested in. I regain one when I acquire a substantial material treasure. Okay. And experimental, regain a point of burnout whenever you missed on a delve deeper role. I don't know how often that happens. Delve deeper is a uh, research move you make. You either use it when you want to like, it's like making a knowledge check when you're like, I want to figure out what is this green substance on the ground. Right. Cool. I think greed would be fun as a character choice, but since I am the fake, mm -hmm. will I ever acquire Absolutely. a material treasure? If you steal it. There's plenty of, yes. I would say that's a fine one. I don't know if we'll work it into the game or not, but why not? All right, I'm going to use go, it. Go for it. You've got to make it work out. There's lots of valuables around everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> And theft is what constitutes a substantial material treasure? Because none of these people own anything. Trick your students into making it for you. I. I think we'll know. Yes, I think we'll know a substantial material uh, treasure or item when we see it. And I'll take it. Yes. Um, mm. Yeah, more than okay. you currently make, I would say, would be a, okay. a good baseline, right? Mm. Okay. Uh, what is the fulfillment criteria for a cat? cat Okay, so the first one is bureaucrat. You can make a purchase order for the recovery of burnout. If you get it, recover one point of burnout. <laughs> you just love filling out paperwork. Right? Okay. I guess so. Uh, the next one is cultist. Regain one point of burnout whenever a student comes to you and you convince them to take up worship of or bargaining mm -hmm. with extra planar entities for power. Because you work for the <laughs> Department of Calling and Binding. So you may have awesome. personally sold your soul to somebody. Oh, or if not, you're tempted constantly. That yeah. makes so much Maybe. sense. That makes sense why you're kind of a dick. I think she was like that for anyway. <laughs> yeah, That's just a part of it. The soul was just, you know, getting in the way. It was taking up space. It does that. And the last one is servant. Regain one point of burnout whenever you perform a service for an extra, extra planar entity and it gets you into trouble. And it gets you into trouble. I like yeah. that. So if you do a service for Satan, but you, everything worked out all right. Right. Then <laughs> I don't get it. That's, oh, oh, then you don't get it. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Only if it gets me into trouble. That's very weird, uh, but I, know. I guess it's a way for me to have a little handle on you. I so, think so. Okay. I think I like cultist. The one uh, where you convince where... others to worship. Mm -hmm. I like that. Or bargain with extra I'm down for that. Bargain Into with. I work. like it. Okay, very good. So that's <laughs> your, your fulfillment. So these are what you guys will be looking to do, because otherwise when you get a point of burnout, which may happen, you're going to get raked <laughs> over the coals. Possibly, literally for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what they do. Okay, um, Mel. All right. What my, are your fulfillment criteria? My three are vizier, regain one point of burnout whenever someone follows your advice and gets into trouble. Uh huh. Puppet master, regain one point of burnout whenever someone makes you, whenever you make someone else solve one of your problems. <laughs> and then self denying, regain one point of burnout whenever you choose, uh, you cast a spell and choose the option to become hurt. Oh wow. Oh. That's 
real like it gets real dark right there. It gets pretty dark. Um, um, I think I'm gonna go with Puppet Master. Puppet Master. So I feel like that's the real way that I get half of my stuff done is I make people do it for me. I like it. <laughs> okay, excellent. Rockstar. You're right. Okay, cool. So everyone's like, wow, she does great work, but you're just like. Like I do some of it, okay. but I, I kind of just make people do the like stuff I don't like, I like, like all the paperwork. Okay, that's great. That's what TAs are for. Okay, uh, and last but not least, again, uh, Bridget. All right, so smug, regain one point of burnout whenever someone rejects your instructions and suffers as a result. <laughs> <laughs> smug. Doomed, <coughs> regain one point of burnout whenever you predict the worst and it happens. Okay. And cryptic, regain <laughs> one point of burnout whenever you miss on a teach roll. Okay, oh. teaching, that's just a thing we yeah, do. Yeah, which know, teach rolls are based on charisma, yes. and charisma is my highest stat, so I'm going to go with smug, also because I like <laughs> smug. Smug. I like it. Okay, so when someone doesn't listen to you and ends up getting hurt, then you're happy. Yep. Okay, I like that. Okay, great. Should have so listened. I saw it coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so those are all of your fulfillment criteria. The next thing that you guys can do, if you haven't done it already, just so you guys know at home, so there are four abilities, four main abilities. Uh, instead of having like strength and dexterity and intelligence and all that, we have bureaucracy, mm -hmm. charisma, mm -hmm. research, and sorcery. Okay, so bureaucracy is dealing with the paperwork, the taxes that everyone has to file when they're a professor. The charisma is like all those taxes. Charisma. So many taxes. taxes. Okay, I'm That's really Syl all you do, right? Gap. Syllabus, right? Okay. So, you know, <laughs> the syllabus is filing payment requisitions. Oh my god, it's, it's the worst. Charisma is schmoozing people, lying to people, uh, teaching students. Research is figuring out information about what's going on. It's also about publishing papers, which is a big part of this game. We're not going to get into a lot of publishing papers tonight, but that is. The last one, sorcery is your casting spells, which everybody can do in whatever way you have to do it. Everybody can do it. Uh, yeah, everyone totally can everyone. do it. <laughs> you even technically can kind of sometimes cast spells. There isn't a way for you to do it if, totally you spend an, this. if you spend an entire week setting up a really elaborate ritual. There oh, is no, a I'm way cool. where the fake can yeah. actually do a thing. I see it. But I if, skipped it. If you take that ability. I don't even care. Don't even care. Um, so, <laughs> just so you guys know, if you haven't played in this Dungeon World system before, anytime you want to do anything, including casting any spell, which can basically do anything you want it to do, roll 2d6. There we go. 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 Throw that one in, Mac. There we go. So if you get a seven or higher, it works. Yay, your spell is a success. If you get a 10 or higher, it's a really awesome success. But if anything is six or lower, then something crappy happens and I gotta make That's that up. Fine. And we'll see some of that here in the game in a second. Okay, so uh, with each of your abilities, you're going to assign plus two to one of them, plus one to one of them, zero to one of them, and minus one to one of them. So it's plus two, plus one, zero, and minus one. And that is the number you apply to your dice roll. There. So if you've got plus two in your sorcery, you're awesome at sorcery. If you have minus one in sorcery, that's probably an easy choice for you, right? I uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had that one. I figured that one out pretty quick. Pretty quick then. Okay. Uh, then after we've done that, we're going to choose two starting moves: one from your department and one from your uh, social role. So the git, for example, is really good at being angry at people. Essentially, you have a variety of skills, and there's one of them you can choose. Okay. From that whole list. Uh, does anyone have an idea of what they want their skills to be? Yep. Yep. I yes. So. Awesome. Well, let's start with Mac. Uh, Mac, do you want to tell me what your uh, your two starting skills are? Yes. So from the slacker moves, I have extra credit assignment. When you try and get your students to do something for you by disguising it as academic work, roll for charisma, and on a 10, you get all three, seven and nine, you choose two. Okay. And the options are... They don't realize you're scamming them. Mm -hmm. They do it right, they do it fast. So you're gonna choose two of those. Yeah. So they can either do it right, do it fast, or do it quickly. Oh, I already said that. Well, yeah, it's right, fast, or don't realize that you're scamming them. Okay, so they But might... if I roll a 10, you get all, 10 plus, you get all three. I like it, I love it. So they all kind of are like that. I think it'll probably take up too much time to go over all of them, but we should see it in game as we, as we play through it. Yeah. Okay, so. We have our abilities, we have our starting moves, we know how to get rid of burnout. We're basically ready to go, except now we have to answer a couple personal questions about who you actually are. What's going on with you? Um, there are questions about you on the bottom, I believe, of your department sheet. 
end of your uh, your social roll. Choose a total of three questions between those two sheets. So it'll be two from one of your sheets, one from one of your other sheets. And we're going to have you read them out loud at the table and then answer them so we know a little bit about who you are. Do you see where your question is? I are? totally do. I've got a... So I'm going to start with you because you look start. like you're ready. I'm so ready. Okay, so let's start with your questions. Uh, question number one, what are you even doing at Pig Smoke? Well, when I was flunking out of community college, I said, I've got one goal in my life, and that is to be rich. So I have followed the freaking money. And I, would just, I was just in a bar one day, mm -hmm. like, doing what I do like drinking seltzer water that I wouldn't even tip on and asking people how to get rich. And then like talking to other, like they'd say why, and I would say what other people had told me and I was like talking to this person and they were like, oh, well, have you heard of alchemy? And I was like, of course I've heard of alchemy. And bam, next thing I know, I'm, I, I was like, I told some story about like mm -hmm. turning a pyramid into gold. <laughs> and then it being taken by that the government. You? Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, yeah. They were like, that was you? Oh my gosh. And then I was like, oops, wrong lie. Now I'm here, but still on the track of my vast wealth that I will attain. Okay. That's what I'm doing here at Pig Smoke. So you are trying to figure out how to get rich. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And you find yourself suddenly now a faculty member having. It's not working out great, but. <laughs> <laughs> But there's magic everywhere. There's people all around you constantly turning things, just being like, gold. Yeah. I'm like, well, if I can do that ever or enough, I'll be rich. All right. I like it. Okay. Question two. Question two. Who is enraged by the amount of stuff you're expensing to the department? Well, the git is. Expensing? Expensing. Okay. Because to see what happened was, is that I figured out a way to expense everything I needed to the department. <laughs> I needed a new sofa. So I went to the department and it said, Wait, does it have to be somebody in my department or can it be somebody who's playing? I think it works somebody else, yeah. You've got some sort of connection to the Department of Alchemy. That makes sense. Okay. That's why I keep getting able to do it because she might be enraged by it, but she's not in charge of it. So, like, one day I was Are like, I need a new couch. Are you name on it and everyone's too afraid <laughs> yeah. of her to, like, say anything about it? So I go to the department and I put in a requisition. I want to try to turn a couch into gold with my students. Next thing you know, new couch. And that just goes right into your apartment? Right into my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> and which of your students is blatantly cheating? And why are you letting it slide? Well, obviously, mm -hmm. it is uh, Roderick Fullingham. I'm letting it slide because A, his parents are rich. Uh huh. And B, in exchange, he does magic and gives me the credit for it. So he knows you're a. Oh, he's, he's no. cheating and you let him. He thinks you're a total real. He doesn't know. Okay. I'm just like, I don't want to bother doing this magic. Will you do it for me? Okay. And he's, he does it. And in return, you just give him A's on everything. Well, he's cheating. Okay. I just don't say anything about the cheating. Aha. Uh -huh. Got Because I could, I could get him expelled. Okay, so you're getting kickbacks from him, essentially. Yeah. I like it. Okay, let's move on to Catherine. All right. Okay, so my first question is, who can get past your defenses every time? That is my little sister, Rebecca, because she is so damn nice, and it works every time. And that's I funny. My name's why. Rebecca. Bex, mm, actually. Maybe that's why I don't like you. <laughs> maybe. Um, and then the next one is, which one of your students is untouchable and why? And that would be Jeffrey, the dean's son. Mm, completely. Jeffrey. Dean lets him get away with everything. He's, he's not bright. He's just a shit. No, he's not. What does he do in your class that you hate him for? He doesn't do anything in my class, and he just sits my there. intimidation doesn't even work on him. He's untouchable. Mm -hmm. God, that would be so infuriating. Okay. <laughs> and then, which of my students has made a very bad deal, and with what? Uh, Anita White mm -hmm. is a freshman, and the idiot sold her soul to Amon for cake. First thing she did went right for the soul for cake. For cake. I get sold it. it to who? To an Amon? Amon. Demon Amon. A M O N. Ah, great. Not a priest of, of Islam. That's good. <laughs> an Iman. Okay, an Amon. The demon Amon sold her soul for cake. For cake. That is a really bad deal. Yeah, mm -hmm. Chubby girl? Now she will be. Okay. <laughs> uh, was, was the cake. Is it unlimited supply of cake? I mean, I that's hope smarter. so. I'm not sure that it was, but I hope so. Okay. Still not worth it? Mm. Probably not. No. Okay. Not for a soul. 
<laughs> Mel, what are three questions about Mel that we're gonna hear about? All right. What wildly irresponsible thing were you doing with the undergrads last weekend? <laughs> Drugs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, that was part of it. Uh, I mean, that, that is a foot. Come yeah. on. No, I the drugs were just close. there. Sorry. The undergrads <laughs> are excited that they, most of them passed. Some of them didn't, but they were still there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they were, they were excited that most of them passed their exams. So we all went out to the local bars. I bought them rounds of drinks, maybe supplied a few fun oh. substances. Drinks and drugs? Yeah. Uh-oh. I'm the fun teacher, <laughs> duh. So, uh... But no one can, but you do realize, but the thing is, it might have been my money... But uh, there's, there's perks to the mind controlling, mm -hmm. and I can make students just not remember and do them themselves. And none of them really remember that I was there, but it was a great time. I like it. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me ask you a question about the drugs. Uh, it's well known that the alchemy department, capable of making money, also been known they also have access to all the fun chemicals. Yeah. The chemistry department. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah. So. But do you have a hookup in the uh, Department of Alchemy where you get your drugs from, or you have an outside source? You I have get an outside the, source. You're getting them off the street. I'm, I don't, I, I do need to keep my job. The streets of Boston. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to work within my school system too much sure. for fear of getting, there they're is both, a chance of getting fired. That's absolutely true. They're, they're, both, they're, both, they're both iffy. Um, oh, you have two more questions. Sorry, before we oh, move yes. on. Oh, yeah. yes. Um, so do I do one more from this, or do yeah, I do Yeah, so you could do two from three. the other, or one from that. Oh, okay. However you want well, to do it. I just had them. Here they are. Um, who is convinced you're constantly adjusting their perceptions? Are you actually? My TA. My <laughs> TA is pretty convinced, and I am, but they're not always. You are, you are always adjusting their perceptions? Yeah, 100%. I'm for, I for fun? For profit? Uh, to make them do more of my work. I don't like grading papers. So they're like, phew, I finally like, done with all these papers. And you I come like, and you're like, like the reward of teaching and knowing that people are learning things. And I like writing and doing publishing papers. But I don't like grading anything or homework or any of that stuff. No. So I make my TA do it. Gotcha. I like and it. And they're convinced, but they don't know how to do anything about it. So, so he's it's perceptually fine. like, last paper to grade. Last paper to grade. I make them enjoy it a little bit more. <laughs> Last paper to grade. You no. Know, oh, he enjoys it too. Okay. He has a little bit more fun than he did before. Uh, he's he's he, a good. Um, so he's, he's a good little Alec. He's just Alec. Great. Alec he, is his name. He he's suspects great. that he's getting his perceptions twisted, but he doesn't yeah. know for sure. Yep. Okay. And, and then, um, who is highly resistant or immune to your mind control? Mm. The git. Yeah. You. And it really is frustrating because she's one person I would really like to have on my side because she's very powerful. Mm -hmm. But I, so I really like, I try to charm her every day and it fails every day. And I tried magical and it doesn't work. So I'm just kind of like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> hi. <laughs> try to figure out what you like yeah. all the time because I want you to like me because you have good clout at the school. Yeah, she mm -hmm. would get you up the ranks for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. So uh, not affected by your mind controlling. Finally, Mac. All right. Or I should say Bridget. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very magical name. She's she's from the South. Mm -hmm. I decided last night. Yeah. Um, what piece of work haven't you started yet despite the deadline being tomorrow? Slacker. So. The school, like, they want to know how everything stacks up against all the other schools, you know, mm -hmm. and where we're going to oh net gosh, out. And they just want to know. An assessment? Yeah, they want to know just how things are, are going to go for us, you know, if our students are going to succeed well and, and stuff. And just, I, yeah, I haven't gotten to Let's it. Let's do tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know. That's, uh, that's a, big, a big project. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. So uh, uh, an assessment of your entire department? Uh, it's actually the school. The wow. Just school. like, you know, how we're going to match up to, you know, you got like the England school and you've got like that staff, other. College, yeah. Wait, yeah, that you got some so other American school. basically like a two year, year project. <laughs> You're supposed to do that last Putting week. It off. <coughs> yeah. That, this is the late, like, get it in late day. Yeah, this is, yeah, you're probably pushing. This is accreditation stuff. You're like, nah, <laughs> screw it. You know what? There's a lot of things going on. Of across all of these schools and there's a lot of facts that have to go into it and you have to count on the fact that sometimes there's alternative predictions so <laughs> you're really banking on like a 
one flash of foresight you had at some point, which was like, something will happen at the last minute, I'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Okay, we'll see if that happens. Okay, what are your uh, your other questions? Um, who in your department is wise to your ways and not very happy about them? Okay. Um, I think actually it's across departments, and I, I think it's Bex is kind of knowing that mm -hmm. I'm slacking off, but I can also sort of just, you know, predict lottery numbers and oh, important, yeah, that would piss me important off. important things, you know, and I just kind of just don't bother doing it half the time, <gasps> even though I totally could. But you could be so much richer, but you're too lazy. Oh yeah. my gosh, that would drive me insane. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and uh, last question. Uh, what omens have accompanied the start of the new academic year? <laughs> what do they mean? So, I mean, there was your usual swarm of locusts, which probably means that mm -hmm. there's going to be that re one really popular food item that even the teachers are trying to get throughout the school year, like chicken nuggets, and they're awesome, but everybody's going to send on them before you can get to it. The freaking locusts. It's going just, after it's so, it's so annoying. And like, I keep seeing these black dogs, but I think it might also just be that we're having a problem with the pet population. Like, they're not spaying and neutering their pets enough. So, I think the neighborhood's just really gone down. Hill. Okay. <laughs> With all the black dogs and the locusts and all that. Yeah, um, I mean, like, it's pest control, guys. Come on. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, the last thing we get to do before we actually, oh, okay, well, two more things. One is, so now your department, so you've got your various departments, so it's like if we took, uh, if we took um, Hogwarts, but we just kind of whoop, expanded it out, so it's like five Hogwartses, right? With the big green front in the middle of it connecting everything. And the graveyard, et cetera, et cetera. Each of you have your own department building you're in. Before we get started, you guys can all tell me one true thing about your department. And they actually have some suggestions, I believe, on your department sheet somewhere. About your department? About your department. It could be that the head of my department is actually a vampire. Or my uh, department is, uh, hmm. Or it might be at the very end. I don't know. I don't see. Not there anywhere. Oh, mm -mm. great. OK. Well, good. Well. That's fine. What's, uh, you can still tell me one true thing about your department, even if it's not on that sheet. So such as a, a issue that's facing it, uh, any fact. Like, for example, you could say the entire department building is made out of solid gold, or, <laughs> which would make it easier for you to get rich. That's for I sure. know, right? I was just like, just scraping the wall. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, or it could be, yes, the. Uh, you're in. You're the vice uh, department head, the deputy department head, or anything you want. Okay. What if I am? What if I was the department head? What if? Can you, we do that or no? Uh, no. Uh, I think the department head is always going to be an NPC, and the dean is always going to be an NPC because okay. they have to be there to chew you Plus, out. Plus, the rock star would never be a department. Oh no, no, I'm not. That's just a general like. Oh, sure. Just wondering the limits. Mm -hmm. Always yeah. pushing limits. This rock star. Okay. Here's the one true thing about the alchemy department here at Pig Smoke. Pig Smoke. Pig Smoke. Pig smoke. Pig smoke. Pig smoke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because everybody's working with these chemicals and stuff, uh, almost everyone in the uh, alchemy department is suffering some form of dementia or, <laughs> or uh, memory loss. This is like a Victorian period, like, yeah. chemists. Mad, like, a lot of mercury is being used with bare hands. Okay. A lot of madness. Rampant madness. Yeah. Because uh, there's no, like, hard, like, no one follows the safety protocols or anything. I'm the only one who, like, puts on the, like, gas mask before I go in. Mm -hmm. The other ones are just like, oh. Be, yeah. These fumes are great. I don't yeah. know what you're doing. Yeah. Woo. It's traditional in alchemy to just be, like, ne neck deep in fumes. Mm -hmm. So everyone does it, and they're all... They're all coming cool, cool. from they're all coming from like the Nicholas Flamel 1600s mm -hmm. alchemy tradition, and you're coming from the uh, high school at least level of education that you received. Yeah. College level, where you're like rubber gloves. I wasn't even that good in in chemistry when I was in middle school. The secure the the safety stuff was the only stuff I knew. Okay. I hit the eyewash <laughs> a lot, so I'm really <laughs> all about the eyewash. <laughs> Yeah there's, yeah, there's there's an eyewash thing in the building yeah, like, somewhere, but no like one else uses it. Yeah, no, just eyewash in the back of only your classroom. They're everywhere, cause you know it's regulation. But my like the other ones have coats hanging on them. <laughs> <laughs> I go in there and wash my eyes, even though if I haven't gotten anything in them, I'm like, like just it. in case. 
Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay, so everyone is, is a bit mad in the Alchemy department. Yes. Which could is also probably plays to your whole well always me. misplacing your wand thing. They'll be like, ah, Alchemy department. Okay, I like it. What about for the department of Cabsa? Well, the head of the department of Cabsa is actually terrified of demons. <laughs> He's a demophobic? Uh-huh. Okay. But he hides it well. And it's very infuriating. But you're aware of that, obviously. Okay, very good. What about in the mind bending department? Like one thing that's true about them. The head of the department is a demon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I yes. like it. Yes. Like like out and out, just like Satan, or uh, like or like a Balrog, or is probably he just a minor like, demon, right? I don't know. Uh, Could he's be got a, he's disguised. He literally everyone thinks he's a human except for the people in the mind bending department who know he's not. Nice. Okay. I like They're it. like he's he's like Satan. He's just he just looks human most of the time. Okay. But Okay, is he st does he have like the black goatee yeah, and the widow's little, peak? He's got a little bit of scruff going on, but he, he's a... Not obvious, gotcha. No, he's also blonde. He he really liked the David Bowie look. He couldn't be Satan. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> blonde Satan, head of the mind bending department. Oh, he's also, he's got the David Bowie look, sort of? He's got like the sharp features, the light eyes, the, uh -huh. the bleed, like the light blonde hair. A, a, a rival rock star. No, he's not, no. Maybe. And finally, Department of Foretelling, what's one secret? We have a one lucrative secret. side business, uh -huh. um, having the um, students come to us and then scrying on the other teachers to give them the test results ahead of time. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's so illegal. So much corruption <laughs> in this school. Yep. Yeah, I mean, whatever you can get away with. As long as those constructs of lead and bronze don't catch on, you're fine. Right. Look, I live in a cruddy house. Like, I gotta have at least some income. I'm too lazy to deal with going down and actually buying the correct lot of ticket. I mean, have you been to a gas station lately? Yeah. I go to them all the time. <laughs> I will go for you. What was your, what was your, uh, I forgot my fake British accent. I'll go magic? for you. This is gonna be fun between your fake British accent and what will undoubtedly be my horrible southern one. Well, what was your uh, <laughs> magical conveyance, by the way? Oh, uh, well, you said it needed to have uh, possibly be two people because I figure she does not have so much debt. Yeah. So I expanded it to a tandem bike, but it has um, magic broomsticks that are actually like zip tied to the side so it could fly. Nice. But you know, but it's just it's bike. it's totally just just a bike. So you can't take it anywhere without someone else behind the bike with you, because it's tandem. I like that. Okay, great. That's perfect. <laughs> that is perfect. Okay. Um, finally, the dean. The dean is Big Smoke's almighty leader, the driver behind the university's every scheme, the Kaza Kazans, that brings education, or a reasonable facsimile thereof, into being. The Dean's word is written into law by the Dean's office and enforced by Pig Smoke's constructs of lead and bronze. At the start of the game, the players should go around the table and take turns choosing, cho choosing traits for the Dean. The first person to choose a trait also chooses the Dean's name. As with traits, you can choose your... Uh, blah, blah, blah. So these are just suggestions, but let's choose from the list anyway because okay. we've got it. All right. But if you have, if you've got a really great idea, we all have to vote unanimously for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So, the dean's name is who wants to choose for this one? Option. George Georgian. George. Okay. So there here are the is. suggestions. We also have. I'm going to write that down. George Georgian. The other suggestions are Dr. Adam or Eve Kolowski. I like George Georgian. I like that it would be Dr. Adam or Eve. Like that's the first name is Adam or Eve. Adam or Eve. <laughs> Uh, I'm not really sure what the dean's gender is. So. We also have Smith, just Smith, mm -hmm. Jeffiel, or unpronounceable in mortal, mortal tongues, but we call it the dean. But I like, okay, so we'll go with George Georgians is our I dean. I like George Georgian, no. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that or Smith. All right, who's choosing the dean's nature is a decent person trying to do a hard job, an awful person outsourcing life's difficulties to you, a mysterious person whose demands are cryptic and hint at a greater pattern. I want to say mysterious. Yeah, yeah. I, I do too. George sure. Georgians, mysterious. Great, thank you, Blythe. I think that's why there's a lot of corruption at this school. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Walks in on you guys doing that, uh, like foretelling all the test scores and just nods. And <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, yes. So falls into my path. <laughs> the demon, like I'm pretty sure the dean knows. Yes, good. Cool. 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 In fact, he would have had to. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the dean is aware that our department head is a literal demon. The Probably dean himself. cares about the reputation of the school, mm -hmm. rules and regulations, mm -hmm. the well-being of the student body, mm -hmm. or nothing but themselves. And the two of you have to decide on that. I would like to offer a fifth option, mm -hmm. horse racing. <laughs> horse oh, racing. Oh, man, he's going to be up my girl all the time. <laughs> all right, we all agree on horse racing? Yes. George Georgian's The Mysterious Horse Racing Fiend. <laughs> yes. I hope he, 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 like, races the horses, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he uh, he's a jockey. Owns, he's a jockey. <laughs> he's he like owns the horses and he's a jockey. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the races. <laughs> okay, he races horses. I like it literally physically. The dean wants to lord it over their rival, the dean of Glory Staff College, to transform pig smoke into, oh, to transform pig smoke in some sweeping way to make the students or some subset of the students worthy or a quiet life. I think it's the second Vegas one. Decision. Yeah, what was the second one again? Tra transform pig smoke in yeah. some sweeping way. Yeah, I like that one. Transform. Okay, it gotcha. With, it goes with the mysterious intention. It does, I know. It really does. That's a good one. Okay, the dean's vision for pig smoke. I'm going to bounce it back over to you for this one. His vision is something wildly unrealistic, even for America's foremost school of sorcery. His vision is to make it a bastion of excellent teaching to make it a bastion of cutting edge research or to make it run itself while they do their own thing. The last one. <laughs> okay. Gotcha, run itself. So he wants to transform it in some way, have it run itself. He's mysterious and focused on horse racing and uh, we'll take over to Mac. The Dean cannot resist, you like this first one, gambling, promises, a fight, making cryptic decrees and pronouncements which must be obeyed, or silver and holy water. <laughs> I actually like the cryptic decrees. Cryptic decrees. Cryptic okay, decrees. so he cannot resist making cryptic decrees. Gotcha, I love it. Okay. Which could tie into gambling or any of those things. <laughs> Ultimately. The mysterious George Georgians with his <laughs> desire for pen, his penchant for horse racing, which he races in, apparently. Uh, wants to transform the entire school in some way, seeks only to have it run itself, and does so with cryptic degrees, decrees which he cannot resist making. Which brings us to our first day. Pig Smoke University. The sun is just low on the horizon because it's still winter, and the air has that snap and coldness in it. As you guys head off to your various classes, meetings, things that need to get done. Uh, let's do, let's see here. What would, uh, what would everybody be doing here right at the beginning of the day? Who's got an early morning class they've got to teach? I've got an early morning class. I'm segueing through, uh, on the sidewalk and mm -hmm. like being like, get out of the way! Get, get out of my way! Get out of my way! People are just on their smartphones. The students barely <laughs> I just like them. bump into the back of them. <laughs> hey, man. Come Move. On. People need to use this sidewalk for their segues. You make your way to your uh, your university building, which is, is totally awesome looking, of course. Uh, what is the name of the class that you're teaching? Oh, uh, the fundamentals of gold and sulfur. <laughs> okay, great. The fundamentals of gold and silver. So you're sulfur. Oh, gold and mm -hmm. sulfur. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, I got you. So as you come in. Uh, you have a couple of things. Oh, what does your classroom look like? I don't think we addressed that. So this is your classroom. You've right, been right. there however long. Um, I, I'm going to go with uh, laboratory scientific. Scientific laboratory. OK, I like it. Uh, the Department of Alchemy grants you access to one of the following, and you get to choose. Is it a workshop containing a forge and smelter? chemistry lab or nearly unlimited craft supplies? Is it a sealed vault holding extremely rare or dangerous reagents? Or is it a cupboard, closet I guess, stuffed full of junk that might come in handy eventually? It's the laboratory one. Laboratory, you got a laboratory. Awesome. Okay, so you get into your, your classroom, uh, sulfur and everything like that. Anyone else have an early morning class? I make sure I don't. 
Okay, you make sure you don't. So what would you be doing instead? Would you even be at the campus by this point? I'm doing yoga in my office. Oh, really? Yoga in your office. Yep. I think you'd be crawling out of the bed of an undergrad. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> don't sleep with them. Why not? They're young and hot. And you can yeah, but you have young and hot teachers in the alchemy department who are a lot more fun. Oh. <laughs> They're all crazy, though. That's They're the point. They're all cuckoo. They usually forget by the morning. That, that shows a lot of restraint for the rock star who can also bend people's perception. Yep. Not be sleeping with the undergrads. <laughs> yeah, under 18. I'm okay, do you're doing yoga in your department. Oh, That's excellent. Uh, <laughs> I think she might be. <laughs> what? Might be what? Sleeping with the undergrads. No, I'm helping you out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mac, where would you be? Do you, Are you at work at this point, or are you... Yeah, but that's only because I fell asleep in the classroom the night before, and so I just decided to stay in the night. I'm just okay, sleeping. Okay, so you're woken up as, like, some, like... The first the door opens and the lights get switched oh, on. Oh, coming out of a trance. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the new teacher for today? Says one, some stupid. The ass new student. teacher. I've been here the whole time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Comes in and sits down and gets on his phone immediately. Uh, so you're teaching a class? No, what? I don't know why he's here. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, other other students start to come in and then like. Oh. The teacher of it. Yeah, it's. Oh. Uh, and then where would uh, where would Catherine well, be? Well, I have I have an early class, but I don't go into the class until everyone has already sat down. And right as the class starts, that's when I walk in and I lock the door. Oh, oh nice. snap! As the bell rings. That's a nice. Yeah. That's a nice set. Uh, nice move. <laughs> uh huh. I agree. Okay. Well, then let's start out with getting a a, a teach roll from you as you stand in front of the class. Damn, you hit me the. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so I just roll uh, charisma, yeah? Just oh. your charisma. Oh. Plus two. Ten plus two is a twelve. That is a strong hit on your teach roll. Which... Sulfur is a thing, and it smells. You all have some sulfur in front of you. Sniff it. <laughs> You're beginning your, to... Drop your accent. Yeah. No, don't inhale it. Don't, no, don't. Don't suck it up your nose. Thought you were British, man. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't suck it up your nose. Don't, don't do that. No, this sulfur. Sulfur makes you sound American. That's, you're being fooled by, this is probably one of those people over in mind bending doing a trick on me. Ha 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 ha. So, you've succeeded, you've succeeded in teaching, which means you get a mark experience. On your thing. Wow. Yeah. Uh, great. Everything it was goes a great experience. To My plan. students were bright and attentive this morning. We went real deep into sulfur. <laughs> so you, uh, teaching goes great. Uh, yoga is probably going fine. Your office is small. Um, I just do like the sun, like the sun salutations, the really simple ones, just to like brighten my mood. We're, we're, we're up for the day. It would, you know, it would really brighten Chances your mood. Are I didn't sleep, so. No, it would really brighten your mood. Sleeping with undergrads. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're not on that. It's like every other teacher in every other department. It says one of your one of your. Uh, that's exactly what is said by one of your coworkers who comes in and it leans in a insouciant fashion upon the door to your office. Uh, is there mind bending? Hmm. Guy fancies himself a bit of a comedian. Wears a loud Hawaiian shirt. Got the big beard. Yeah. I'm um, surprised you're not uh, coming out of the bed of one of your uh, one of your undergrads, huh? <laughs> and so I come sorry. running down the hall to go high five on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're illegal. What? That's illegal. <laughs> no, I was teaching. That's my spirit. And you're in a different department. I don't even. There's no way I could have known that except my spirit knew. <laughs> That's her actual magical ability. She can like, transport her spirit over things. Yeah, uh, another weird trick by the mind-bending department. <laughs> oh no, it's actually that was the guy uh, who was talking to who finishes casting that spell. Huh? Wasn't that a pretty good one? Looked like your friend. Give me a high five. Are you? Why? Why are you here? Oh, no, no reason. No reason. Um, uh, except uh, switch classes with you. What class? Oh, you're gonna love this one. 101 elementary eye contact. 
The you most know, important part of I the game. I worked real hard to get here, and like, kind of don't like having morning classes. So no. I explained to the head of the department I can't do it anymore. Sorry about that. In fact, I think you're late for your first class. Um, pretty sure you're late for your first class. Okay, so this sounds like a roll of some type, like a move, uh, which we should probably do. Um, yeah. So you could sorcerer's spell on them if you want to do that. That's always straight up. Otherwise, it have, sounds like you I might feel be like I have a lot of scathing him. I have a lot of moves for my like for this. Yes, tons of moves. Okay, so uh, if you're scathing him, you can make him flee your presence, cringe or cower or give him something you want, or you could try and schmooze him, or you could blast him with a spell. Those are kind of the basic abilities, unless you have another move, one of your departmental moves, that you want to drop a little magic on him. Hmm, I'm trying to think which, which one of these. All right, well, he starts popping sunflower seeds into his mouth and turns <laughs> away, chewing them up real loud. Keeps him in the pocket of his uh, big Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Giant pocket filled with sunflower seeds. I love him. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to do... Barnabas. Barnabas Waltz. Oh, uh, well. While you're doing that, Mac. Yeah. Over to you, I think. So you've woken up. Yes. Uh, we're, we're cut to you as you're, like, I guess shuffling out of that room as the other students are going in for their class. Oh, no. I, I overslept, so I'm actually teaching a class now. But, oh, you have to but... be into another class? No, I slept in the classroom. That was the class you were teaching. Well, oh. I slept in the classroom overnight, ah. and I lost track of the time, oh. and then my class showed up okay, that I so forgot they... I was teaching that morning, and I, okay. I have an idea for that, too. Okay, great. So, yeah, you, so you wake up as they, uh, they come in. All right, y'all. Like everyone is filling in in front yeah. of you. Um, so I've had a little look into the future, and many of you are not doing so well. I'm worried about your ability to pass this class. However... I would like to give you all a chance to get some extra credit and help the school at the same time. So we are trying to predict how our school is going to stack up against the other schools <laughs> worldwide. <laughs> so what I would like you all to do is go ahead and break into groups. I'm going to give you extra credit for this and start predicting things about how this school is going to do when it comes to, you know, national stats and worldwide stats and all them things. Is extra I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I've already done the work, so I, I will be able to check person. against it, mm -hmm. but I would like you all to do this because I think it's a really, really good exercise. They'll look at you for a moment as you make your schmooze. No, that's not a schmooze roll. What would this roll be? Teach. Sounds like a teach roll. Yeah, so. Great. Teach. Um, I might have to give you disadvantage on that. Mm. Because that is a... Uh, oh. Well, actually, that's an extra credit assignment. When you're trying to get your students to do something for you by disguising as academic work, roll charisma. What? Oh. So this is actually you one of my slacker moves. Yeah. Oh, that's a slacker whoa. move detail I took. Wow. Dang it. You schooled me. Okay, so great. So uh, no disadvantage on that. Roll it up. And you get out of your charisma. No. Nine plus... Two. Two? So oh. that's 11. Well, that's a so, strong hit. So, yeah. On 10 plus, you get all three. They don't realize you're scamming them. They do it right and they do it fast. <laughs> Two Predictions years. are done at, due at the end of the day. I'll be over here um, thinking about the future. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Extra credit. I needed a, a filter class. Yeah, and then they just all get to work real hard. Great. So they actually knocked that out of the park. Wow. You guys are crushing this so far. <laughs> Do so, we have? Do you have a, yep. an idea of what you're gonna do? Yes. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do a hand wave, which is basically it makes him believe me at least for a few minutes and gets him out of my way. Hand wave, which is one of your moves yes, that you have. Yes, one of my moves, and I have to it roll plus charisma. And okay. How many dice? Two d six. Two. Uh, and that's a straight up roll with your charisma, I guess. So yep. uh, that's about it. It's a very straightforward system. Ooh. Ooh. What is your charisma? It's the plus two skill, but. Didn't do so hot still, there. Still leaves you at a six, so that is a miss. Okay, does it say what happens for hand wave? It just says that if it gets, like, it just doesn't do it. It does nothing happen. Can you read the whole uh, skill? Uh, the hand wave compulsion, when you tell someone what you want them to believe, roll plus charisma, on a hit, they believe exactly that, but mm -hmm. only for a few minutes. Okay. On a seven to nine, when the illusion fades, they remember what you did. 
Okay, awesome. So he just kind of notices me trying to do it. I and love it. <laughs> so uh, that means whenever you guys fail on a roll, I have a list of moves that I can make oh. to screw you up. Uh-oh. Yeah. I should have used my dice. They work better. Oh, yeah, you should have. I didn't think Huge about that. Huge mistake. Okay. <laughs> Well, nat 20 Let's is all my last game. Pull up all of my awesome <laughs> moves that I can make to screw you guys up. Okay. Great. Okay. He's, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, you know, uh, Jedi mind tricks don't work on me, man. I have worked on the past. You better get off your yoga butt and yoga your way down to the classroom real quick. Before, uh, you know, the department head finds out you've been missing classes. He would never believe you. Oh, uh, he doesn't have to believe me. I think I see him coming right now. He says, uh, you're here, not in your classroom. Oh, the, the, it was the department, department head. Oh, well, hi, Dr. Vinglorix. Doctor? He gave him a name. Uh oh, I better write that down, too. Vinglorix. <laughs> He gave himself like the most vain, ridiculous, demon sounding name. Van Glorix? Yep. Okay. Van Glorix. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, friends. How are your souls today? You're really I mean, a bit more British than this. <clears throat> Got this cold. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Yes. How are you today? That's British, right? Yes. <laughs> sure. Yes. <laughs> Can not all the British people talk like yes? Yes, British. Yes, this, there's my ordinary voice. Well, hello. Well, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in class. I don't have morning classes, you know this. <laughs> well, no, unfortunately, uh, Mr. Waltz exchanged classes with you. He didn't tell you he was supposed to tell you weeks ago. Oh, dear, how... That sounds like his problem. You, Mr. Waltz. <laughs> oh, oh no. How truly fiendish. Oh, well, I'm afraid I must report such a problem directly to the dean's office. Unless you could help me with a small problem. What would that problem be, doctor? Oh, uh, I have a friend in the uh, department of foretelling who has foreseen a particular accident that's going to happen over in the Department of Coin Binding in some city in a way. Would you mind helping out Miss mm, Katrina today? Oh, sure. <laughs> That'd be amazing. No. I Good. love her. She's amazing. And it is all going according to plan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As he, like, walks away. Uh, Mr. Waltz, go back and teach your class. And uh, the guy with the sunflower seeds goes, Wait, what, what? Yeah, you have a class still. But Guess what? <clears throat> We're friends. He likes me. Let's see about that. It's because I know what he wants, and I'm, I'm going to help him do that. He gets frustrated and runs off, but you have a date to keep in your classroom. Cut over to you. Mm -hmm. Katrina. Ka Katrina. Katrina. Katrin. No, Katrin. 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 There we go. One of my weak spots. I get everyone's <laughs> names wrong. Katrin. Yes. Okay. So, uh, you have arrived to your class? Mm -hmm. Yes. If it's just now started, I'll uh, lock the door and um, open your books to Summoning 101, page 39. You all read it, right? Good. Sounds yeah. like you're getting ready to give a quiz. Everyone is totally, uh, oh. totally terrified. Okay, uh, I think it sounds like a teach skill for you. Do you want to roll? Yes. Okay. Sometimes. There you go. Or these dice will work. Or those dice, whatever. Uh, you're pretty terrifying. I'm going to give you advantage on that yes. roll. Let's see what happens. So take the to highest two dice that you roll up there. Okay. And this is charisma, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh. So crushed 10 it. plus 2, so 12. No, you would have crushed it anyway. Great. Okay. <laughs> Everyone crushes every single roll that they make this game. I yeah. love this game. <laughs> I'm down Except for that. Except you. Yeah, you, you failed pretty Except hard. the rock star. I just talked my way out of it instead. You continue to It was a late class. night. <laughs> so you gain, since you're teaching, you also get experience. Yes. The class goes swimmingly. Yes. As, as the bell sounds, everyone files out. And you come in. Uh, I guess you would see uh, uh, Mel probably around this time showing up. You've, your kids are finishing their class. Yeah. Around this time as well. Um, so it's here. So Bridget 
and uh, gosh, Bex. 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 That's why I can't remember. Bridget and Bex. How can you forget Bex? <laughs> Fake British. <laughs> as as you guys get closer to lunch, classes are done being taught. Something. Wait, it's lunchtime. Almost. <sighs> yeah, not quite. It's almost lunchtime, but there's something you guys have to do right before lunch, which involves the Capsa department, particularly your frenemy over there. Cap. <sighs> Got it that time. You did. What do you have to go over there and check on? You both have a connection to her, right? Right, yeah. Um, well, I have a connection to everyone because everybody wants to know the future. Mm -hmm. and, you know. Who have you been, who are you working with? Oh, you were working with her to uh, um, cheat, right? Help your kids cheat. Well, they were helping no, them. she just wise to my ways. I see. And uh, she's not very she's happy not about them because I, I can also, you know, I could be making a lot more money she than I am. A lot more money. Yeah. Okay. A lot more money. A lot more money. So that's fine then. So, so what would be compelling your characters to go and show up over in the Capsa department? Well, she, she doesn't like all of my use of the school's money to buy my furniture. So, I suppose I, I'm going over there to check in on her, that she's. Have you I do her favors you... to keep her, try and keep her happy, keep her from. Yeah. Dude, I, <laughs> I try to convince her to sleep with underwear. <laughs> That's your goal with everyone? Because I feel like it, everyone would be happier if they did. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure she is. Mm -hmm. Sleeping with underground? Mm -hmm. Protesting Me? a little too much? Yeah. I'm on a mission to become wealthy. I need to clear my mind by sleeping with undergrads. <laughs> 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 well, she's heard something about some cheating. And she was really hoping that maybe I could come and help predict sort of the next event of it so we can, you know, nip this in the bud. Because, I mean, cheating in this school, that's just appalling. Okay. Uh, so, for one reason or another, the four of you find yourselves together in... Let's see here. We didn't really get a description of what your classroom looks like. Oh, my classroom... I really liked some of the things. Just that were imagine in there. it's devoid of anything. <laughs> it's yeah, just a box. Imagine. Yeah, just essentially a prison. Where'd it go? It's. <coughs> it they, is. Uh, they're manacled to their desk during classes. <laughs> <laughs> Magically <are>. manacled. <laughs> it's a library of forbidden knowledge. So it's a big. I imagine it kind of circular, and there's a library all around it, and in the center of the room is where the desks are, mm -hmm. and also it has bound demons in it. Bound demons, mm -hmm. like. Like, like just you in know, cages, like, like bird cages. Yeah, like uh, go go dancers. <laughs> Adds to the intimidation, I think. So. That's good. Is there like unholy organ music constantly playing, or is it just deadly it's quiet? It's silent. Completely silent. Even the demons? Yeah. Like they're screaming, but mm -hmm. silently. But well, I think that's organ music, but of a different kind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so you guys are, are milling around. You show up. Uh, you maybe, Katrin, don't even know why. Did you summon her here, or was she sent here without your knowledge? Uh, I imagine without my knowledge. Okay, so there's there's some confusion, some general awkwardness. But she probably does that a lot, so. Oh, oh I'm constantly trying to suck up to her. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. You I feel like she's the closest to t getting tenure, and I want to be on her good side. Almost well, certainly, almost certainly the closest to getting tenure. Um, also, I like her classroom. You guys are kind of like awkwardly milling around then, or discussing whatever. I guess it'd be pretty awkward if all you guys show up when suddenly uh, your TA comes bursting in. Uh, does he have a name? Um, John. John, <laughs> the TA. <laughs> and what does he look like? Um, well, he, he wears a suit mm -hmm. because I won't allow anything else. And uh, his <laughs> hair is very neat. Mm -hmm. um, and he's kind of small and helpless looking. Okay, and his hair is slightly disarrayed as he comes bursting in at this point. <laughs> John. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know you were in the middle of the meeting. I'm sorry. Hey, Katrin, uh, there's a problem that the in your office. What sort of problem in my office? Uh, well, you know one of the, the vessels that holds the souls, of the, the demon souls? Mm hmm uh, It broke. Did you break it? No, I can swear I didn't break it. It was like, it's, it's, it's on the ground and it shattered and the demon got out. Does anyone else know this? Uh, probably not, but I guess maybe I was yelling as I was running through the hallways. You know better than to do that. Yeah, I know, but it was scary. But 
Well, go and take care of it as best you can. I'll be there later. I have business. Well, that's the thing. I was trying to take care of it. I don't know. It, it, it overpowered me. It, it overpowered? Of course it did. What was I thinking? Why would I think? It got my wand. It got, you let it get your wand? Yeah, and I was shooting at the students down in the courtyard through your window. All right. That's why you don't carry wands. Whoa. You switch to rings. It's much easier. You had to do this very coolly. Well, do me a favor, <laughs> dock your pay for one week, and I'll go take care of it. Okay, we will do. Uh, uh, and he, like, backs out, and as he's, like, about to leave, he goes, uh, and the dean's on his way. I think I saw the dean coming. Uh, Great. He runs off. Need Leaving help with you guys that? quietly alone in, a, uh, in the room. Oh, oh you're already here. that might have been what them black dogs was all about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. Why are you all here? Well, you wanted to talk to me about the whole cheating thing and oh, see right. if I couldn't help you out with that. Did you find anything? Well, it's not an exact science. I needed to be in the area, feel, you know, the general miasma of your whatever this is. This is really dark and dim. This is pretty creepy. I'm not going to lie. You should read the books in here. They're really great. You know, I'm, I'm okay with not doing any of that. So what do you need to get it done? I'm here now. I'll take care of it. Okay. Don't well, worry I... your head about it. Go deal with your demon. Good. What are you doing here? I'm not giving you anything else. <laughs> Anyone else? Do you all want to come help well, me? Now I'm going to go have lunch. Because I've been wanting lunch, and I'm going to have an e early lunch. Oh, you know, doing predictions on empty stomach is just really just a bad idea. Let's go get lunch. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I was sent to help you with a problem of some sort, and I'm guessing this might be a problem, so I'm here. Well, good. Let's go take care of it then. The two of you are getting lunch together? Yeah. Great. So yeah, it's that chicken nugget day. Remember that swarm of locusts I told you about? Oh, I do remember you telling me all about <laughs> a swarm of locusts eating the chicken nuggets. But what I think is that if you get in line earlier before the swarm of locusts gets there, that's why we need an early well, no, lunch. Well, no, the swarm of locusts was an omen. It was like a sign. It wasn't a literal swarm of oh. locusts eating the chicken nuggets. They were a sign that, that the students, a lot more sense like a swarm of locusts, were going to eat the chicken nuggets. Oh, that makes sense. So as you guys exit the... <laughs> you guys are having this conversation as you exit the room. Um, and the department of CAPSA is, is absolutely, like, the holes at this point is like you open the door from the quiet of the room. You guys are coming out of the classroom. Screams of people just running down. Go, oh, he's got one! And then, like, you, 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 like <laughs> explode somewhere. And then, like, little blasts of, like, pew, 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 pew. And someone else is like Let's running go around like that shooting to get to to get to lunch. Guys yeah, like yeah. A giant I, I think that's probably like, a good ah! idea. I'm sure. You know, honestly, I don't even need to draw a card to figure that out. We got this. We got this. You guys straight out the front door over to the food court, which is away from the shooting. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Um, they got this. They got to learn sometime. It's a school magic. I'm, get, I'm getting a double serving of chicken nuggets. There's if there are any left for that, there will be. There's a move for that, and we're going to get to the move. I <laughs> see it. That's why I want to have lunch. Okay, great. So you guys, oh, no. <laughs> you guys can have lunch. Uh, so you are, are following along with your idol? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's pretty cool. You must be pretty cool if the rock star suck it up to you. I guess I That's am. not bad. Okay, so... Um, I feel like I went here, and she was my teacher. <laughs> oh, awesome. And I actually loved her. <laughs> Even though she was awful. And everything, everything, all of your rock star personality is just trying to emulate the yeah. coolness that she had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that might be a bridge too far, but okay. So <laughs> I just, I liked her as a teacher. So I'm like, I didn't like her enough to go into her department. But. As you guys walk, you guys, the direction of the panic is coming from your department. Okay. It's, or from your office, I should say. Okay. Uh, what, is, what is the building, what does the Department of CAPSA look like? Is it... Um, Gothic I imagine, stone walls and stuff yeah. like that, or is it? I imagine it's like a big dome building and everything, much like my room, everything is, is circular, and it is. It's very gothic, and it's sort of... Torches stuck in brackets? Mm -hmm. okay. And there's a lot of, like, the center of it, I imagine, is open, and all of the classrooms are kind of on the outer edge, and there's sort of, like, columns all in the center, but it's all very gothic and dark. There's not a, a lot of light, not outside light. I like it. Okay, and gotcha. Okay, so not much... Um, do you have an excellent office? Like a, a good position? I mean, um, like. Uh, it'd probably be decent, but small. Decent okay. position, but a small office. Okay, sounds good. Um, yeah, 
so it's, it's probably up a little bit, and you guys go up flights of stairs, and first there's like students and, and faculty running out of the way being like, what is it? And then nobody, after a moment, because everyone's gone, and you pass a few shut doors, and then there's the door to your office. Closed, everything currently silent. What would you do? Well, I would probably stop for a minute. So I assume, so there's the, my door and there's like some some space here and there's no one around, right? It's like in the hallway outside the of hallway? where your door would be, okay. yeah. Probably wait for just a, a moment, make sure nothing happens. And then I would go over and open the door. Okay, you would follow behind? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's your room. What does your room normally look like, your office? Um, it's, it's very uh, tidy. Uh -huh. And there's not a whole lot in it. Um, there's just my desk, and then there would be my computer, and mostly the things that I need, a few books nearby, but it would all be put together pretty well. Okay. Great. Well, it's a complete disarray right now. Everything's, there's like pages from the books are like fluttering down from the ceiling, probably tall Gothic ceilings, I'm mm -hmm. imagining the thick stone walls. There's the couple like narrow, tall windows mm -hmm. that you have to like look out onto the courtyard. All the glass has been smashed out. Shutters are like laying off, like swinging crazily. Um, little whatever knickknacks or pots or whatever like that you had have like fallen onto the ground. Potted plants are shattered. Mm -hmm. Ransacked, it looks totally ransacked. Mm. Bits of flaming bits of paper are floating all around you. No sign of a demon. Hmm. No sign of a demon at all. Is there anything that, uh, that Mel would do? Um. No. She's just kind of, she's like looking around trying to see if she can kind of determine which way the demon went and she's kind of like looking towards the hallway to see if there's any signs of like okay. a demon because people were running that way, so. Does Mel, so Mel doesn't use a wand? Mel uses an um, enchanted ring. Oh, you said that ring. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So I'm assuming this demon, is this a demon that it would be more like an energy that we could, wouldn't necessarily be seeing? That sounds like a delve deeper role. Okay. Okay, so is, is, uh, let's do your roll and then we'll get over to your guys' okay. uh... Where's Delphi? Do we really need okay. to roll to see if we got chicken nuggets? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, which, which roll are you looking at? There's a basic move called a small incestuous world, which is any time you eat and hang out in right. a public place. Definitely have to do that. Yeah. I'm looking for the roll that says I got a chicken nugget. <laughs> uh, I don't necessarily have to say you'd have to roll for chicken nuggets, but if you want to try to, that would be a, um, a uh, what do they call that? A bureaucracy roll to try and get through all the red tape. Yeah, I'm bureaucracying. All right. <laughs> Some chicken nuggets. Oh no, they're so out of chicken nuggets. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, can I do a magic roll see if I can conjure some chicken nuggets? Yeah. Look. Sorry, man. We're, we're <laughs> chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets don't taste as good as the ones they deep fry well, in the back. I, well, so you you failed on that roll? I did. I'll go with the pizza. Fine. Well, yeah, so there you go. They so always have pizza. With a purchase order roll, you can choose, you have to choose two of these. You don't need to offer anything in exchange, or you get exactly what you asked for, or you get it right now. Wait a minute. This wouldn't be a purchase order. That would order. be great if those things happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's probably the closest roll we have to ordering chicken nuggets, and it seemed like a fun time to introduce that rule. Right, but I totally boffed that roll with a three, so Great. I got no chicken nuggets. No chicken nuggets. Do you want to try and summon them? Summon us some chicken nuggets. Yeah, because and it, it has, has absolutely nothing every... to do my, with my department, so I'm rolling at disadvantage. Disadvantage. Great. That could go spectacularly bad. All right. So just one die, or does uh, that work? Roll, two, or roll three and take the two lowest. Three and roll... Okay, okay. That's right. Uh, ouch. So that will be seven. Seven. Oh! Barely made it. Just now, yeah, just passing you. Great. So when you cast a spell, uh, you're using magic to solve a problem, and you can choose. What's here? Do you see the page for casting a yeah. spell? Yeah. Um, okay. Your solution becomes someone else's problem. Okay. The magic is short-lived or otherwise temporary. The magic affects far more than you intended. Something goes wrong, and you get hurt. So you got to choose two of those. Well, the solution becomes somebody else's problem because I just summoned chicken nuggets out of one of the other students' hands. Yeah, so students coming along and the chicken nuggets would fly <laughs> yes. right over to you. And yeah, then what magic else? affects far better. more than you attend, in, intended, so there are a lot of chicken nuggets. Everybody's All chicken the nuggets students. in the entire place <laughs> comes chicken flying towards you. nuggets come to us. <laughs> okay, great. Um, He's fast. <laughs> <laughs> so they just land in your... Are you eating them there or are you running off for a table? 
Well, we're professors. These we're students just going to eat them while we stand. They can just... They, they no, can. let's go sit at the table and yeah. spread our nuggets out they and can get just seven do. types of sauces <laughs> and try all the sauces. Yeah. Okay, things are going well. <laughs> Look, they have had Chicken Nugget Day for so many days where we've missed out. Not we're had any. making up for it. Not had any chicken nuggets so far. Now is it time to do that other role where we see what happens when we're eating in a public place? Not quite yet, because I'm going to go back to these guys. <laughs> you chicken nuggets rolls. The students are looking unhappy. Oh, good. <laughs> I predicted that this was going to happen, y'all, all right? This is the locust. You see no one. We are the locusts. <laughs> <laughs> You're the locusts. I like it. So you see no nothing in the hallway. No signs of magical incursion. But if you want to do a delve deeper roll, that could help you okay. with figuring that out. Can, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And right. which is just plus research. Mm -hmm. And you are you doing a delve deeper roll as well inside? I them? can. I'm yes. Yeah, so I was trying to figure or out. Or you could do a spell, or you could do. Well, I was thinking about doing a spell to essentially track a demon. That would be in your department. So that's, okay. that would be perfect. So let's see. I. Roll plus <laughs> no. sorcery, basically. Oh, no, I'm Blythe, did you fail that? Yeah. Your research is uh -oh. plus zero? Yeah, no. It's a minus the character one. Minus, is not happy oh, because you're a rock star. <laughs> okay, so, because you have... I was always the student who just, like, looked at the thing and got it right. I wasn't the student who had to, like, do a lot of reading. So my research skills are minimal. Okay, good. Then I'm going to say that... Oh, God. Ooh, so, all right, got you. So, as you look around, you see nothing and you don't notice. So you like find, you, you back into the room, and you don't notice the uh, the latch on the door beginning to vibrate and shake on its own. Over to you. Okay, so I'm going track to demon. try to, yes, track demon. I have my wand, the ready. So you have to say spells when you do that? Um, no, I don't have to. Some people do, but I don't, <laughs> I can think it. Um, so that's a seven plus one, so eight. Oh, good, you just passed. Okay, good. So, just like with her spell that she was casting to summon all the chicken nuggets, uh, <laughs> so many you just chicken barely nuggets, passed. You have to so choose many. two of the uh, <laughs> unintended consequences for Track Demon. Whew. Okay, so I would do that under uh, yes. spell. That's right. So, I have to choose two of them? Two of those four. So, your solution becomes someone else's problem. You've tracked the demon, but it is now someone else's problem. The magic is short lived or otherwise temporary. The magic affects far more than you intended, or something goes wrong and you get hurt. Um, I think my solution becomes someone else's problem. Uh, and do I have to choose how it becomes someone else's problem? No, or I'll choose that. that. Okay. Yes. Uh -oh. Um, and I think I'll say the magic is short-lived or otherwise temporary. Okay, I like it. Um, so whoosh, there's a splash of light, and um, you see that the demon, you like trace the little. I don't know, green light, motes of light magically start appearing in the air and then tracing all the way over to the door, which <laughs> slams shut behind you. Latch comes down uh, and um, hmm, Baroque door as well, probably. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, does it have like mm, kind of ornate decorative oh, work yeah. into it? It's oh, real tall. Maybe just the wood grain, we'll say then. You know how the wood grain can sometimes look like a, the knots and the swirls mm -hmm. can look like faces or whatever? That starts like swirling around inside of the wood of the door. And a demonic voice comes calling out to you. No! 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 Going back! No! I can't get this uh, demon. I know which demon you are. You are the worst demon. Hey, I'm not so bad. I'm a good demon. It's because I was a poorly worded contract. That's what. Back a thousand years ago, and now you guys make me do everything. Yeah. Sweep we, up. And you call yourself a good demon, which is not Eat something. The tea. I'm a great demon. I'll show yeah. you all. I'll show you all. Uh, no, I've seen it has been foretold. <laughs> <laughs> the great reckoning is coming, says the door as it speaks to you. I want to uh, pull out a vial that I always keep with me, and I want to uh, basically cast a spell to pull the demon into the vial. Great. Um, and shove it in there. <laughs> pull out a vial, cast a spell to summon the demon into the vial. Great, we'll try that in a second. Okay. Also, the second part of this was... Solution becomes someone else's problem. Oh, right. mm -hmm. Detecting the demon becomes a problem because I don't. Okay. <laughs> that was uh, tough. There's, there's, uh, yeah, it's a very visible effect. So the green motes after they show you where the demon is come float, float out through the windows, mm -hmm. and almost from like a giant. For those who know how to read the runes, a giant neon sign pointing to demon possession <laughs> in here. And you guys down in the courtyard, like, everyone, all the kids notice that. 
Everyone looks up. Everyone looks up, and I, I'm like, oh, yes, that is something. Out and of I can't control see it. demon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this coming. And, uh, it's not surprising. Panic starts it's to. It's not surprising to me either, this thing that's happening. Panic that starts to spread sees, across the so campus a little bit. Uh, and, uh, yes. I you, think you're being facetious. I just have a talk. You also hear the, the heavy footsteps of the Dean, Gregorius Gregorius. Or, Gregorius Gregorius? No. Heavy footsteps. George Georgian. George Georgian. George Georgian. George Georgian. George Georgian. George Georgian. I'm trying to make it way more demonic and cool. George Georgian, the mighty Dean of the university, is Wait. hunchbacked form. Don't we need to roll Small Incestuous World? It's your turn to roll a Small Incestuous World. Okay, so anytime you, this is another rule, this is obviously meant by an academic. Whenever you eat or drink in a public place on campus, roll 2d6 plus nothing, and uh, on success, you learn something interesting. Yeah, we're both gonna be rolling this. Yeah, we are. First. Eating so many chicken nuggets, so many Six. chicken nuggets. Yes, okay, so <laughs> on a 10 plus, you learn really interesting stuff. On a seven through nine, I get it, you, or you get to choose one of these instead. You run into someone you'd really have rather avoided. You catch wind of some bad news that will affect your department. You see two other faculty members doing something highly dubious, and you are implicated or drawn in. Or on a six, it's, it's even, even worse. worse. <laughs> so I've got, I've got something for that, I guess. Should I go ahead and roll two? Because I'm also eating chicken nuggets. Yeah, I'm sure. Let's complicate this. Hey, I have a question. Is this, because this is based on Dungeon World, and don't you get an experience point when you fail a roll? If you get a six. Yeah, we haven't done any experience doling out yet. Oh. Um, I got one for teaching. You get, mm -hmm. that's the only way you get experience in this game is through teaching. Okay. Or through publishing papers. And you rolled not a teach check, you rolled one of your regular moves. Yeah, I did the extra credit assignment, which moves me forward on my questions, but. Which is great. Um, and helped get rid of something that would have maybe resulted in burnout and, and screwed uh, okay. over. But no experience points for that. Got it. Yeah. It's, it's kind of tough. All right. I'm okay, ready. so you're, you're also rolling to see what happens. Ooh. A three! Oh, bad, bad things happened to both oh, of us. So no. some bad, we are so busy eating chicken nuggets. I've ever eaten the chicken nuggets. Yeah, I don't know that this was such a great idea. It was an awful lot of chicken These nuggets. And I don't usually mix my sauces because it's a bad idea, but oh. I mix the sauces hard. The Listen. chef comes bursting out of the back of oh, the, who's the chef. Uh, probably a magical homunculus composed of like. Um, He's just like short and squat and green and extremely short, lumpy. Short, squat, green, homunculus. Don't eat the chicken nuggets! Oh no. Whatever you do, don't eat the chicken nuggets! Far too late. All of them are eaten. <laughs> well. By us. Uh, this is the one thing I did not see coming. The little. What's wrong with the chicken nuggets? Oh. I don't think they're supposed to be writhing like that! He says as you guys, you see the little bits of a chicken leftover that's still on your paper, what are little thing trays, yeah. Start to like, sort of jump around of their own accord and start to like, mm, twitch oh. and writhe slightly. Neither of you feel very good. Oh. Neither of you feel very, very good at all. I, I see a lot of bathroom trips in our future. Heavens. So, so many bathroom trips. Bum, bum, like, bum, bum, bum. Uh, I'm gonna cast a spell on my stomach right now to try and settle it. Uh, is, is he preparing to do that? Oh, you can't cast spells. You can't cast I can't spells. cast spells. You automatically fail, gain a point of I experience. I get a point of experience every time I pretend to do magic. Oh, okay. it didn't work. This is far too difficult for my magic. Okay. <laughs> it's a terrible uh, problem in our stomachs. The, the dean is stomping past you guys, George Georgian. No, uh, George Georgian. Don't throw up on George Georgian. We did it. <laughs> and you completely vomit on George Georgian. Uh, it's insane. Yeah, it's a horrible gout of green ooze that you... Wait, I do vomit on George Georgian? Why do I speak? Yeah, okay. It's perfect. He's it's so, too late. We didn't really describe what he physically looks like, except we know he's small enough to work as a jockey. So <laughs> I think he looks like a hunchbacked jockey. <coughs> he looks like Igor in jockey form. That's except, even worse. Yeah. He's uh. small enough that I can vomit on his head. <laughs> yeah, so you bend double and just vomit all, all over the, uh, the dean of the university. I'm yes! so very sorry. Pulls back his black hood, revealing the, um, what is he, boulders have a beautiful head of hair. Ball. Cue ball. 
cue ball. Great. And no one ever makes fun of his height or his baldness. Gosh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. The, it's not my fault. If I was not on my way to Kamsa, you would be out of this university so fast your heart would spin. But I'll deal with your data. Yeah, this time off of me. So uh, directing our attention back to Capsa, where the Dean is currently on his way up, you are trapped in the room with a demon door that refuses to shut up about your prophecy is coming in. Gonna be good days for me coming soon. Yep. Okay, so you produce a vial. Mm -hmm. I'll just ask the door at my head about this later. Your good days are going to be in this vial. Remember how much you like these vials? Uh, let's see, this is sorcery. Okay, great. So seven, seven eight. Eight, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, uh, sorry. Okay. In this particular case, mm -hmm. well, that would be unfair because I didn't say it already. I was going <laughs> to give you disadvantage on oh. it. Because this is a this free will demon has invaded and possessed a door. <laughs> uh, and it's in an object now, which makes it a little harder to summon out. Um, Makes sense. So let's go ahead and have you roll one more d6. I will be a bastard. It's, it is a three as well. Okay, so. great. So you still pass it? It didn't work, David. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So you roll a total of what now? Eight. Eight. Okay, great. So you have to choose two of your options again on your sorcery uh, chart there. So also your short-lived uh, demon identifying thing fades. Ah, okay. And you lose sight of it on the door. Um, so let's say the magic effect's far more than I intended. Okay, that's a good one. And we'll do the solution become someone else's problem again. That's a good one. So, okay, gotcha. Um, hmm. Gotcha. And become someone else's problem. Wonderful. Okay, great. Dev your... Yes, yes. I need my wand. And uh, as you no longer can see where the demon is, as that has faded because it was short-lived, your mm -hmm. demon locating, you, so you just feel the invisible ectoplasm streaming out the door into your vial. Mm -hmm. It's working, no problem. Perfect, of course it is. But it continues to siphon more and more of the demon energy into the vial. Should be finished by now, but it hasn't yet. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And then whoosh, the vial bursts as a... Uh, hmm. It wouldn't burst because it worked, because it succeeded. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's, it's, you seem to be sucking demon energy from a great deal more than you would expect to have come. Mm -hmm. Second part becomes someone else's problem. It's out of the door. Bang, door opens up. The student comes in. Uh, hey, I had a question about the class today. And then, boom, you feel all the demon energy leap from the flask. And the student goes, <laughs> flashes you that look that clearly a demon possessed student would flash you. I'm free! <laughs> and then does a crazy crab walk <laughs> run towards your window and ha! Smashes out through it. Falling, free falling from your second or third floor. Wonderful. Uh, what would you like to do, Bly? <laughs> Um, can I cast a spell to try and, like, just make sure they get a cushy landing? Absolutely. Let's go ahead and give me a sorcery check. You guys outside are... Uh, did you eat a bunch of the chicken nuggets as well? Unfortunately. Let's say you vomit as well. As you're vomiting in the background, we see the caps of building, and we just see a little black dot falling out of the window. Ooh. <laughs> it. There is your success. A hard... Now, op that was cinematic. Vomiting and a guy <laughs> falling out of building. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we pan up from that. There's like a chunk comes out, and then we pan up to the man falling oh. out of the window. You know what would make me feel better? Motifs. Is if you would tell me the next winning lottery numbers. What, wait a minute. Before we hear what you guys say, <laughs> what do you do? What spell do you cast with your ring out through the window as this guy goes plummeting down? I just make sure that there's an extra cushy, like, I saw, I, I lessen his velocity, and then a nice little. Cushion pops up. I love it. Okay, so cushion can definitely happen. You have to choose one of the effects, though, that still applies with unintended um, consequence. I mean, it's short-lived enough for him to make it, but it's short-lived and temporary, and then... Um, okay, just one, actually, since you got a 10. That's okay. a, it's a, it's a big success. Okay, poof, <laughs> it's the thing, poof, that explodes into a poof of, of light, and uh, the, guy, the kid's okay, which is great, because you see him, like, thrash up to his feet and start flopping his way towards the... Uh, 
Food Chicken court. Nuggets. Yeah, food court. Rise! Rise, demon spawn! Um, so, as you guys are talking over there, you're unhappy to see the green ooze which you vomited up oh, no. begin to slither along the ground like pseudopod plasma. Now that's not right. That's just not right. I mean, honestly, what was that if it wasn't chicken? I mean, it tasted like chicken. It, taste, it tasted very much like chicken. I mean, then again, most things taste like chicken to me. I don't really have many taste buds left, but I don't really want to talk about it. How on earth do you lose taste? I don't even care. <laughs> Your vomit has, has slimed its way away. Uh... Come back, vomit. Wait. Wait. <laughs> nope. Don't want to. Doesn't even look like vomit. It looks more like Nickelodeon, like green slime. This is Gak. It is metamorphosized. <laughs> yeah. Gak, or what was the other one? Slurp? Well, I think no, it was just it's slime. A, it's slime. Slime. Yeah. yeah. Slurp. Listen, do you think if it's we like go after, if we don't go after yeah, that, color. this is going to come back on us somehow? Well, we didn't make the chicken nuggets. It's not our we fault. Didn't. And honestly, we took that off of the poor students that would have eaten it. There would have been we so did. many vomiting students. But we, we as the teachers, we stepped in and potentially Super. saved lives. Students Sa are starting to look up from their cell phones. They're so alarmed as they notice the slime on the ground. Potentially Whoa. saved lives. People are Instagramming Indeed. it as it like slimes its way out of the cafeteria towards the green in the middle of campus where the cavorting galloping form of this student <sighs> tearing his like shirt off. Uh, Come! Is this the the portal thing? opens! Summon the demon lords! And you can see that the clouds are beginning to swirl overhead. I'm gonna turn to students just go, y'all should probably go. I just, I'm having a, a feeling about it. <laughs> you should probably get out of here because bad things gonna happen. The students agree. <laughs> no, they don't. Uh -huh. like, yeah, there's like three of them have you on this Facebook Live. This is precisely live. what I want to happen right now. <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead and stay. Go ahead and ignore what I have to say, and we'll see how that all works out for you. And they, like turn it around and like this is so crazy today. I think we're gonna die. Let's go. Okay, they're just being students. I know what students do. Um, Please tell me something terrible happens. I'm sure like some of them are kind of like, nope. Yeah, no, the, the students are, 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 well, as the guy's starting to like tear off his clothes and chant and stuff like that, it's beginning, people are getting to get freaked out and drift away, but it's also a college campus, so like students are also starting to like get closer and check it out. Mm -hmm. um, Some people <laughs> want to go debate with him. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's a happening. Oh, fulfillment track. That's what's so, happened. Over mm -hmm. to you guys. Uh, you're still in the room. You have see, you're seeing the guy like scrabble his way towards the green, and he's shouting about the great summoning. I don't think you noticed green slime slamming his way towards him yet. Bump, 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 bump. Mm, what is going on here? Says oh. the dean as he comes staggering in. Dean, what happened to you? What do you mean? But you've got green. Just a little bit here and there. Don't ask about that. Oh. My question is... How are your horses doing? Oh, very well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Came in fifth place the other day. Oh, nice. That's my personal best. It's amazing. <laughs> thank you. That's the Belmont Stakes. <laughs> so you're laughing, that's a impressive. <laughs> yes, I do. No, this, don't distract me. You did something I heard about this already. Already from one of the other department heads. How did you? You broke and let free one of the most powerful demons we've had enslaved for over a thousand years. Oh, well, that was John, my TA, but I am getting it under control currently with the help of... Hi. Sounds like that's a schmooze check to me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Tell somebody something that they want to this hear. This is charisma. Okay. That's perfect. That's a charisma check. Are you yes. charismatic? I am. Ooh, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine. That is still a success. Very good. Schmooze. Yes. Uh, on a nine, they will do something simple in exchange for a payment, favor, or bribe. Is how that works. So in this case, they will, if you will, Did I guess, believe you. Pick in or exchange stat? for a payment, favor, or bribe. We all, we all take charisma. We'll you something. had better get this under control. I expect you to. Very charismatic. Oh, I will. I, I'm, I'm already on top of it, and. She's helping me, like she does. Mm -hmm. um, Who are you again? 
Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> my friend who knows about my horse. Yeah. I think I remember you from when I was okay. Mm -hmm. He's also just like three and a half feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> three and a half foot tall, Igor. Something. I'm trying to figure out what it is. You had better figure it out because you, if you don't get this figured out, I am going to make you a TA in this department. Well, Dean, as you know, mm -hmm. I do know a few demons who are very helpful with horse racing. Um, and I think in this particular... Oh, that's demons. Yes, and they owe me some favors. Well, my motivation is to have the school run itself. <laughs> and this doesn't help me. Well, I'm going to issue a cryptic command to you, <laughs> as I am wont to do. If thou does not help me with my horse races, <laughs> this is going to be bad news for everybody in the department. <laughs> I'm the dean. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> this is deadly serious. My cryptic pronouncement is thus: the green slime of the angels must be defeated before the stroke of noon. That's particularly cryptic, isn't it, today? Yes. Yeah. Checking your time? Yeah. 11.59. Oh, okay. Well, we're all dead. What time um, is it? It's 11.59? Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I want to get your horses out of the stables. I think you should, yes. That is actually a good idea. Um, I think I, I can definitely do this for you. Uh, help out your horses, but I think that if you can get the mm -hmm. head of the CAPSA department to come help with this little situation, it will be under yes. control. Yes, get fast. the head of the CAPSA situation to help me get the horses out of the stables. Yeah. That makes sense. That is the one thing I care about. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm motivated by that and my sweeping change that I want to see across the entire campus. More horses. <laughs> <laughs> Someday it will turn it all into a beautiful, it will rival the Belmont Stakes. <laughs> Is that the only horse race you know? No, of course, I know many. Also, <laughs> last name. Tucky Derby. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why I remember you. <laughs> you own the Belmont Stakes. Come from a very high up. I have to get my horses out of here. Yeah! He starts <laughs> slumping his way away. Okay, well, that clip gets the Dean off your back, at least for a moment. Um, I wanted to get. I just wanted to get him out of the way. I didn't want him to take the CAPSA department head with him. Well, I didn't either. I really wanted the CAPSA department head to help me with this demon. And my department head's no use right now. Speaking so, of, the demon is, is uh, get back down gyrating right now. in an uncomfortable fashion. Gyrating. <laughs> As like clouds begin to circle is around this one over of the students she slept with? I need to check on that. <laughs> That's a really good question. <laughs> is this one of the students I've slept with? It's hard to tell. Yeah. I mean, the shirt yeah. off helps a lot because I only look <laughs> down. <laughs> it's hard to say. Listen, are you going to do something about this? I mean, well, mm -hmm. I mean, do you want me to help see if this was the future? I do feel person? like, I mean, like, if you maybe you're going to sleep with them when they are stop being a demon. I, I, mean, I do feel like of all the pain that could happen, we know the worst. <laughs> and with Multiple the, parents. And, and obviously with the worst accents. Like, well, I don't know really what's accents. going on here. It's, it's pretty bad. You don't you, want to do anything. For a moment, you can't hear each other as you hear that there's this cataclysmic <laughs> sound in the sky as a portal <laughs> seems to open up. And then just um, a massive, uh, like, teardrop of green slime begins to descend right. I mean, from do you the want midst me of the clouds. To help predict the future? No, or what I have no idea. Here, or? Green slime pseudopod beginning to, like, Yes. I'm okay, gonna uh, uh, let me borrow your wand really quickly because I, I, I forgot mine at home. I don't carry a wand. Dang it! Wait, hang on. I will stretch my hand out towards this green drop. So you better get back up in that cloud, drink green drop. Don't make me use my incredibly powerful magic on you. Don't do it. Do you want to know if you're gonna be successful? No, I don't. <laughs> Because I, I can tell you. I don't need any help with are that. You, are it's, you sure? I, you know, I, you're audible on the other end of the food court, but like oh. out across the middle of the green. Oh, that don't look good for you, little but... tiny... Um, uh, just barely audible, but that's right. fine. Let's it, quick it looks go over closer. 
so it can hear me threaten it. I, I think that maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe you should not do that. <sighs> I'm going yeah, to do I'm, that Yeah, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going with no. The dean comes rushing past with the head of the CAPSA department. Who is who again? Oh, the head of the CAPSA department. I don't think we named him yet. Oh, who is it? Dean, look at me! Bob? Threatening to cast a Threats terrible seven. spell! Oh, you're fired! <laughs> no, I'm threatening to cast a terribly powerful you spell! You vomited on me! <laughs> oh, we don't have time for that. I'll fire you in a minute. Dang Come on, it. head of CAPSA. Sorry, who was the head? Uh, Bob Fredson. Bob Fredson. Yes. Yes. Uh, a, a tremendously rotund fellow who always wears his black academic robes everywhere mm. and is, um, is prone to running around with just like the, the skull of a, of a demon that he's, that he's scared of. Oh, he's terrified of. Um, <laughs> thank you. That was the thing about him. A uh, <laughs> skull of a hyena with horns glued on top of it that he tells everyone is a demon skull. Wow. That's yep. so how he covers. Mm -hmm. This dean, don't worry! Yes, we'll get those horses out! And they come running by uh, towards the dean's stables. Uh, great, so the dewdrop of slime is falling. Um, the kid is cavorting around madly. A wild wind is beginning to rush up. And you guys are still safely in your office. We should probably get out of your office and get down there. Yes. You do happen to notice on the ground the uh, broken ceramic vessel in mm. which you would recognize it immediately, of course. Generally, the demon is not in there. He's down, like, in the tea room making everybody tea. But it's uh, broken on the ground next to where it fell. Okay. A couple little shards. Hmm. Do you have any other friends in the CAPSA department who would be helpful with this? Um, I don't know about friends. <laughs> or at least you could scare them into helping you with this? I do have an idea, um, but it might be better to use students for this one. <laughs> I know of a demon that we can summon that can um, that can give a person limited just for a short time, um, but the power to um, basically overtake another demon. And I what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Is that a move you have? Well, this is promises of power. So what I'm okay. wanting to do. Basically, it allows me to use Teach plus Sorcery instead of Charisma to, uh, to get a student to do an inadvisable, inadvisable bargain with Dark Power. So I'm trying to see if I can use this, because I want to use this. So I'm trying to figure okay. out how to do it. That sounds great. Um, you'll have to go to somewhere with their students. And yeah. I think we said Which this they're outside, areas. right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I told them to go, but they advisable. were not listening. They were just not listening. They don't seem to listen to you much. That's where, that's where we'll go. Listen, can I schmooze the the three-foot vomiter and say, listen. He's already off towards the stables. I'm going to run towards him. You have to say, run alongside I'm him. I'm running alongside him and say, sir, listen, if I threaten yes. this demon into mm -hmm. going away, yes. if I take care of this problem or help others take care of this problem, can I keep my job? Yeah. Wait. Do yes. I, don't I have to roll the schmooze? Oh, yeah. It's Come on. A good deal. Come on, schmooze. Yes, I schmooze the crap out of it. Eleven. Yeah, yeah, get rid of the demon. Yes. And you keep awesome. your job. Then I will turn and run back towards the giant dewdrop. You're breathing pretty hard right now. I'm going to take a horse <laughs> and ride it back towards the giant dewdrop. That wasn't part of the deal. <laughs> okay, that works. Wait, so, no, so you do catch I have my segue? I'm going to segue <laughs> over. Great. So you run up, you catch up with him at the stable. He's like unleashing all the horses. Oh, don't worry, Snowball. We'll crank home you later. No, you can't take one. Yes, you can get him. Don't touch my horse. Okay. And then you're like, what do I do? And then there's your segue. My segue. white like a stallion right next I to the I leap onto my segue and... <laughs> You've turned around and... I'm just, I'm, I'm like... Mm, yes, across campus. <laughs> Mac, you see her do that. Still sitting <laughs> at the table. You're kidding me! Will I succeed? No, I won't. Oh dear. Are you kidding me? Stop making faces! I'm segueing as fast as I can! I imagine you're only like three feet away at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all better turn around now. Are you serious? Kent, 
This job is my one chance at vast wealth. Vroom. Pull back to you guys. Where down through the window we see a little segue person moving slowly <laughs> towards <laughs> this green pseudopod, which is now just about touched the ground. Um, some of the other teachers and stuff like that seem to have come down to do stuff. But yes, I mean, um, most people are just sitting around going, the <laughs> "Well, I don't know. That's weird." Cap so caps the department. This shouldn't be that weird. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, I see Anita White, who's the freshman who sold her soul to a mom for cake. So <laughs> <laughs> she turned around with tasty cakes all in her hand. It's so yeah. many cakes. <laughs> oh, Anita, it's so wonderful to see you here. I need a favor from you. And I know that you would like extra credit, right? Extra cake? Uh, a cake as well, of course. Anita does as you wish. Oh, good. Well, Anita, you are one of my best students. So you see what's happening here, right? It's very bad. It's and, bad for cake. and I don't think I can take care of it myself. And we can't do this. We need your help. Mm -hmm. So what I need you to do is summon a djinn. Okay. <laughs> Did she just put down her cake? Her soul cake? <laughs> no, she was, she was just throwing off the crumbs. She already ate that oh, cake. Okay. Cake, cake is gone. Cake down there. You're right. <clears throat> You want me to summon a gin? I do, because I know you can do it. Oh, it's full of cake, Mother. Uh, okay, so what role is this? That's so your ability. This is what I'm trying to do. This promises a power. Roll teach plus sorcery. So teach okay. is charisma, right? Basically? You, normally, you, uh, teach is uh, skill. Yes, teach, right. wait, yeah. teach plus sorcery. So it's teach so it's, plus charisma. It's charisma plus sorcery. Yeah, basically. so you could add both of them. So Great. I get three. Okay. Oh my gosh. Boy, you seven. needed that. <laughs> I did. You needed that. You passed. Yeah, plus three, I did. Okay. Yay. And so it succeeds. And so she's going to summon a demon? A djinn. Specifically a demon. Djinn. Into her body or just to summon it? Um, she would just summon it. By the power of cake. <laughs> By the power of cake. <laughs> Give me a <laughs> Mirroring your soul cakes around into like frosting um, course, pentagram. Frosting pentagram is my kind of pentagram. pentagram right? <laughs> it's gonna be the name no. of my next band. No, nice. No, frosting pentagram. No, it will be under. I mean, it, it, this is a gin. It's going to grant her a wish. Oh, okay. So uh -huh. it is attached gotcha. to her. It's Boy. a baby metal band. Yes, it is. Can I just see it again? Because I. Aha. Right uh -huh. I knew I you were gonna think that. Seems awesome. <laughs> I saw. Uh, I saw my crystal ball. If you exhort your students to inadvisable Please. bargains yeah. with dark powers. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So it doesn't necessarily mean. It all work out how you wanted to do. Right. She's simply summoning a powerful demon. Right. And, okay. Yeah. Uh oh. That sounds good. Okay. Frosty. <laughs> I could always try and make her make the wish we want her to make. Yes. Oh yes. She smears frosty all over her face and then slams her face <coughs> down into the grass into the middle of the pentagram. That's how, how you taught her good. Oh yeah. Everyone knows this. And she screams into the grass. Jim. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Uh, and then, this is an boom, power, like, beam of energy shoots up out of the ground. <laughs> Her body starts convulsing wildly. <laughs> Important note. Possessed by the powerful Jin. When I see this happening, I'm going to extend a hand out like I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Great, yeah, the couple of students go, <gasps> Yeah. Like, Ain't hat. no one buying it. Flops out. <laughs> she, like, I need a wife. Ain't no one buying up, it. Cake smeared all nope. over her face. Um, I guess she strains up inside of the cake pentagram that she made. Mm -hmm. I am summoned once more in this mortal's cake filled form. <laughs> Who has summoned me? This is what you're going for to have. She's well, bound to it, right? Yeah, well, yes, she would be in control of it. Would be nah, so I so have summoned you. <laughs> <laughs> you think you'll get. Draw my powers. <laughs> the power a cake compels you. I can't hold you for long. I and need like, an old cake and a young cake. <laughs> <laughs> the frosting on the ground is beginning to bubble already with the so powers. What? We I, want her to wish this away. <laughs> yes, we want to make everything go away. Even before it happened, the dean never came. Never came oh. by. I'm so. rewriting all of the students' extra credit work in my own hand. <laughs> really quickly while everything else is going on? <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm, I'm fairly confident they're all screwed. I, I'm oh. good, though. I, okay. I, I checked. I checked. So you're just still sitting at the, the 
outdoor bench where you're uh, eating chicken nuggets. Oh, I, 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 have, I have stopped eating the chicken nuggets because apparently it was not that. chicken. Okay. Well, you're just, okay, gotcha. It sounds like you're in the same spot. Okay, great. So yeah, Needle White you know, is, is convulsing and pulling a full golem as her face like snaps back and forth between the gin and herself. So, Anita, we need you to yes. wish, we need you to get this demon to wish that this never happened. Ever, and that the demon was still in his base, in the in her office where it belongs, okay. and that he's still serving tea and cleaning up and doing everything he does, and that he has no desire to be free. She's starting to that. cry tears of frosting <laughs> coming down her face. I'll do the best I can. Tears of frosting is the next name of our metal band. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tears of frosting. <laughs> I'm a full gin. Banish this green suit of pawn. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's make a sorcery check at disadvantage, and I'll let you do it to see how powerful <laughs> you are. Mindbender. Uh, three, and then take the lowest. Two. Ouch! What do you have for sorcery? Plus one. Oh, this advantage is rough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. So uh, let's use the same things. Uh, oh, so it was a failure. Mm -hmm. So we don't even have Such to choose fail. off that chart. Why are you doing this? Um, so what I'll do, you know what'll be fun is I will choose three. I got one good roll. So Just far. tell me one good lottery number. Okay. So since I'll you do this on yourself. It, I will choose two of my choice. So something goes wrong and you get hurt. No. I'll choose that one. And uh, we'll say the magic is short-lived or otherwise temporary. So I'm gonna say. Oh. I wish. I wish. Now, you've made one mistake. You see, the ants are already eating the pentagram away. <laughs> <laughs> so the pentagram is the bugs and stuff, or whatever. The pentagram is made out of frosting on the grass, so it, its powers are dissolving. And, um, yeah, exorcist style, I guess we were going with that. Uh, projectile vomiting cake. And like a powerful stream <laughs> that like blasts around and catches you full on as her head rotates 360 degrees. There's a lot degrees. of vomiting on people in this. Will you stop it? I'm a one note. I'm a one note. One it's note. just all so soup. That's what it really is. So this gin is, is like um, escaping basically? Uh, yeah, is like, is there seem to be two powerful demons summoned now. Um, but you get blasted by the full on um, I delicious smelling fresh cake. Boom! Hits you in the chest, throws you backwards. You are now hurt. Get hit again. You will be harmed. Do I just like take some of the frosting? It's really good. This is good. This is good frosting. Cake. Demons really know how to bake cakes. I want to try to scathe this demon. Okay, that into sounds fair. Leaving. Yeah, I guess you convinced him to come. Yeah. I just be like, really, Jen? I'm so sorry I couldn't do it. Oh, Shut it. up, Frida. All your cakes are lies. Wow, that was a good one. The cake you made is a, a really lie. good joke there. But do you think we care that you're here? You know, what can you really do? You might as well go back to where you came from. I can do a lot. Can you? Sure, I, I can. Uh, so making her shake pretty good. Oh yeah, I've seen. Honestly, I've seen better. Oh, that's so. All right, you better roll your scathe check there. See how it hits him. Oh. oh, nine plus two, so, so scathing. You destroyed Super him. Super scathe. <laughs> Great. Uh, on a ten plus. You him into stopping all of this. <laughs> yes, I should. On a ten plus, choose one. Well, you can make him cringe or cower, <laughs> flee your presence, or give you something <coughs> they think you oh. want. Oh, sure. Let's go with give, give me something they, they think. think you I want. Fucked. I love the I love the freedom in that. <laughs> all right, here's the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure everyone wants this. Okay, something he thinks you want. Um, gotcha. So your motivations. He's a gin, so he could it could really be anything. In control of a girl's body who likes cake. <laughs> and it has no soul, I guess. Or at least sold her soul, I guess she still has one. Okay. Great. Um I give you a Okay, yeah. Uh yeah, okay. Here's what we'll just do. I mean, like, her head snaps back and she sticks her hands in it. Pulls out an uh, athame, a uh, silver-bladed 
black handled dagger used in. Over where I'm at, I'm like, pull out an SMA! <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised you know that word. <laughs> I give you the banishing dagger. British oh. word for dagger. <laughs> Good, it's the least you could do. Yes, and now oh, to make this girl shake in crazy new places. Away! <laughs> this gin he... is into sleeping with undergrads. Yeah. <laughs> Bam! Uh, you got someone finally. I did. In a in a burst. You got some kind of really strange obsession going on here. In a blast of tasty cake cinnamon buns, <laughs> just explodes uh, and is gone. Gone I should go some to other realm. Cinnabon after work today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so off to wreak cake related havoc elsewhere. Um, of course. You have been. Everyone is pretty damn impressed because you've got the robes and the hat and all yeah. that. Yeah. I look like a wizard. And I've I'm got still my waiting, hands for, I'm waiting for the students to have something bad happen to them because they're still standing around like morons. Well, at this point, the pseudopod has finally like completely, like, you know, like when you have the silly putty dripping down or yeah. whatever, right? It's slow, slow, and then all at once. Yeah. Okay, so there's that like rush of wind of like as this like um, three story tall, hundreds and hundreds of tons of. Nickelodeon style green goop, but not Nickelodeon style because it's transparent and thick and gooey. It'd be like green food coloring and corn syrup. Oh, good. It's green and demon, so, yeah, demon snot. That's what, okay, that good? We're, we're on the same page? I'm mumbling Latin y sounding things. E pluribusum, e pluribusum. Just hits the ground with like a big splat or it's all splatted out. Dang it. And then it's e pluribusum. Yeah. And then each of its individual splat bits becomes tendrils that start snaking out towards, uh, definitely towards the food, the food court, towards all of the different buildings, Here's, almost all of the different buildings. This is important. So I, I'm really going for the whole smug thing that I was right. I keep my hands reached out as though I'm casting spells, but I turn my segue on backwards. I'm like, oh no, they've, they've cast a spell on my segue. <laughs> <laughs> They're green, making me flee. A, uh, a, uh, a tube of green slime as big as a double-decker bus comes snaking around you with not hitting you, just past you, off to the food court, and then like a bunch of the kids are just standing there with their cell phones out, or just <laughs> caught up in the white wave of slime. Does that mean I can remove a point of burnout? Remove a point of burnout. As you watch them. <laughs> You've been the whole time predicting things that go badly. As you watch the kids get like pulled up, once they're inside the pseudopod, they just get pulled up into it like a, uh, like it must be a whirlpool inside, and you get them, seeing them getting sucked. I told y'all! Towards, <laughs> towards the center. You guys see that too. So it's like a blot. It's taking up most of the green space in the middle. It's like 60 feet across. And then these pseudopods extend another 100 feet and like, you know, it's like a flattened octopus. So the guy who originally was possessed by a demon is you still do, there, right? He's there somewhere. Yeah, exactly. You don't see him underneath the blot when it fell. Hmm. Or do you? Would he right be there? Hmm. Yeah, he is. Uh, in fact, you'd see him as he, his little head pops up above the top of the demon bubble. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, how do you sound? Yeah. I told you, from door to doomsday. And like he starts, I destroy all of your stupid corrupt apartments, starting with. Uh, <laughs> That one. <laughs> and the pseudopods start crashing down towards the alchemy department. Can I? In through towards the doorway. me personally or towards, towards the Towards the alchemy department. Would you be in the way of that? No. Okay, <laughs> yes. What would you like to do? Could I yell? Could I try and use schmooze on this demon and yell, uh, demon, I have exactly can. what you want over here. Yeah, of course you can. Uh, Seven plus, let's see, that's charisma, um, plus two, so nine. Yeah. And I'm going to go, go over to Catrin. Great. Yeah, you schmooze him. Um, I'm casting They'll do spells. something simple in exchange for payment, favor, or bribe. So, schmooze <laughs> on the demon. Again. Because so, you're cheating. Something you're simple. finding that card on purpose. Look, I know what's happening here, all right? I know you don't want to believe my powers. 
Okay. Um, and you have to offer him up something. Okay. So I demon, demon style. Demon I heard thing. that you want to take the uh, Department of Alchemy, and I think that's a good idea, and I can help you with that. You again. Yeah. I have a deeper voice now <laughs> that I fused with this pile of ecto goo. Yeah. Ecto goo. Yeah. But that sounds scientific. But demon, you're going to have to come really close. It's another band. Oh, song. I'll come close to you. Oh, oh, good, good. Because, because you're the one I want. Wait, now. I'm the one. That's right. Thanks for identifying yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls its tendrils out of the um, alchemy department. You can see all sorts of like. Leave the like, alchemy department now. They must have gotten there pretty far because you see, like, you recognize one of your couches stuck to the. Uh, uh, My couch! <laughs> stuck into it as well. More. I hadn't gotten a chance to take that home yet! More power, more couches. <laughs> it's swelling in size. So now it is, um, is it, is it consumes more students and stuff. It's beginning to grow to be the this, this center blob is almost the size of a building. Okay. So at least Man, 20 I hope feet it tall. takes my, apart, my department. I'm, I'm ready for a little rest. <clears throat> the, the TA, the TA is it. like bobbing on top, just his tiny little head like a pin. A pin my stuff. TA? Uh, it wasn't the TA, sorry, it was a student who came oh. into office hours. I, I mean, I say my department building, but really what I mean is the tent that we say is the department building. <laughs> you have a tent instead Yeah, of I mean, it building? was like, it's like a tent, it's like a giant tent. Like a pavilion tent? Like a big circus tent? Like a circus tent. Yeah, something like that. Like, you know, like maybe <laughs> like a little Barnum and, and, and Bailey going on there. Yeah. Cool. Sorry. Uh, uh, Blythe, what would Mel be doing during, <laughs> uh, during all this? You probably came down with, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. with Kate, Kate. So he's heading towards her, right? <gasps> like to like attack her? Yeah, definitely. Which is right where you are. Yeah. So I'm going to cast a subtle illusion to where Mm. It looks like she's in a slightly different direction, still close to us, so she can get to him. But like, Displacement so he's spell. like going away from us and not directly attacking her. Okay, that's a great idea. Um, sorcery check. It's a sorcery. Yeah, it's a sorcery. Perfect. Two d six, and it'll choose at least one of these bad things. <laughs> well, I've got <laughs> six, six plus, plus one. Seven. seven, that's a pass. <laughs> and I get to choose one of these things that happens. Your magic ring flares again. And he massively overreacts to what I show him. No, it's not a sorcery. Oh, oh a, is that? Oh, for your illusion? Yeah, I got an illusion. Massively overreacts. I love it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, this guy's been playing it pretty subtle so far. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it like raises its massive, like, building length tendrils now and start just waving them all around crazily, thrashing through the entire square. Uh, it's because he thinks he's going to get her. He's uh -huh. all excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, he's just crashing through everything. He's completely enraged. And uh, in the distance, you can just barely hear the clip-clop of the Dean's horses. <laughs> the Dean on top of one going, faster, faster, just riding the hell out of there. <laughs> Well, whenever he gets close enough within so, stabbing range, I want to stab him. You're close time. enough to stab. Okay, so you have you're waiting there, and this mm -hmm. thing is sliming up closer and closer. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I want to check the segue. <laughs> uh, I think your segue is slower than this enraged slime monster, Probably. slime demon. So, blorp, slimes over you. It slimed over me. Yeah, and just. Uh, I had to get the instructions for this segue off the internet. <laughs> Am okay. I in it? Yeah, I think you get pulled up into it like a torrent. Can I, what, what is the deal with this? Like, am I, is it like a swim situation? Can I breathe? Am no, I dying? Can't, can't breathe. I th think you do get hurt. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> like a gelatinous cube situation going on here. You can still swim, though, and there's like a powerful current inside of this thing's body. And you can see other, like, students and stuff getting pulled to up, up towards the center. And there seems to be like a... Uh, Am I still on my Segway? Yeah, sure. I hang on to my Segway for dear life, and I spin it towards its, towards the. So there's like a guy outer. hanging in the top of it, and then like from where you are inside, you can see black, liquidy tendrils, cut, like kind of extend down from the student's foot feet into like the center. There's like a nucleus, of um, hmm, probably just ineffable swirling darkness, small. That's size of an eight ball. Okay. 
the but big like swept towards it. But like creating all this like, yeah, all this motion inside. I aim my Segway wheels at it, but I don't hit go until the tendrils are there. Until the Segway is just hitting the, hitting the, the, tendrils. the void of nothingness? And then I go full power and I run it at full power until it starts overheating. And then it creates an explosion. Let's see what happens with that. So I like it. So as you're, you're just about getting sucked into this ineffable swirling darkness. Yeah. And you're about to hit the go button and we cut back to, <laughs> you probably see this little, again, we pull way out, pull out through green slime, pull out through green slime, pull out through green slime, <laughs> right to the base of it where you're standing with this dagger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just holding it. Well, no, I would have had it concealed. because I being sneaky. Yeah, I was being sneaky. Great. <laughs> Slime beast, right on you. What do you do? Um, I'm going to try and keep it from touching me as best I can. Oh, it's actually before. not quite right. It's going to miss oh. you slightly, isn't it? Because she redirected it. Oh, so yeah. it's going to go right past you. Okay. But you're still really close. Okay. Well, I want, as soon as it looks like it's as close as it's going to get, I want to try to stab it. Just stab the ooze? Well, so where is this guy now? It looks like it got to be 15 or 20 feet above you. It's just like 15, okay. 20 foot dome of of slime in your little mm -hmm. figure. Don't of slime. Guy. For example, if you were this candy cane, mm -hmm. it would be this bag of Munchies cheese sticks. Okay. <laughs> Just like that. All right. And so then, he's a little. But I can see him, right? Like he's up there. Yeah, his like upper torso is sticking out. I want to try. Multi-purpose snacks. Want to try to use a spell to help aid me in throwing this knife right at the guy at the top. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Great. So spell it up. Sorcery time. Two d six. That's a brutal Ooh. failure. Yeah, yeah. That that is a, that's a five. That's a five. That's what that is. Okay, great. Um, Goody good. Great, easy. Uh, I'm gonna choose that you fail. You throw the dagger, misses, and uh, just blarps into the slime monster. Of course. And something goes wrong. You get hurt. So uh, yeah, as you throw the dagger, it's just it swings one uh, one of its pseudopods, and uh, I guess it misses you, but it <laughs> knocks you flat on your ass, hurls you backwards about 10 feet, wham. Oh, I, I finished rewriting the report in my own writing, so I'm just... It's encroaching on the uh, the plaza. It looks like it might sweep through this plaza here in a moment. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a day ahead on this, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it in at the dean's office, because <laughs> I just want him to be really impressed that I'm ahead on this. Dean's office slash stables. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, so that's where really where I'm heading to turn this in. Okay, and, so um, I'm thinking maybe square the papers, stand up, and calmly walk away. Yeah, pretty much. All right, looks good. Uh, <laughs> you're definitely an academic. And then what would Mel be doing as if she saw uh, Catherine get ass whomped by a giant slime uh, pseudopod? It's like, hmm. hmm. The dagger probably went up, and this went burp, and yeah. Got stuck. What I'm confused about is how a lesser demon is able to do this on his own. It's a really good question. I'm going to try and read his mind. Mm hmm. Good idea. Okay, uh, great. So it's just 2d6 plus, what do you have on that? It's plus sorcery. Plus sorcery. Let's hear it. <laughs> Seven, right? It's a five plus ah, one. Sorcery is only plus one. So six. Great. So what happens on a fail on that? Does it say anything? They get to ask me a question. Ooh. Oh okay. my gosh. I'm gonna, I'm he gets to ask me a question. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah. It doesn't say That's I have your favorite to answer color. honestly, though, because I'm good at mind bending, so it doesn't necessarily affect me super well. OK. I also <coughs> going to use one of my moves in addition to that as a GM. So it asks you a question of. Um, oh, here. Uh, I can ask one of these? Yeah. Okay, uh, great, what are you thinking right now? Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's gonna be, uh, what do you think of Vangel, or what is his name? Vanglorix? Vanglorix, yes. What's your what favorite do you think color? of <laughs> <laughs> Great, that's good. Yeah, good. he probably shouldn't rule the world, but he's a decent boss. Ooh, I'm sorry you think that way, says, uh, yeah, I'm sorry you think that way, says uh, Vangelix. <laughs> I'm just, I was like, I like him though, he's cool. Stepping out of the shadows behind you. You see, it like was it. all part of my plan all along. Oh, I kind of no. figured as much, I just wanted to come I knew you would. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I just 
wanted to confirm that. Mm, I was simply testing your, your soul, as it were. Now come join me as I become the new dean of this university. Is our dean not a demon? Mm, it's hard to say. <laughs> Regardless if it's a I demon. I thought he was a The demon. demon. Yeah. <laughs> However, I, I, I would be the new dean demon. Deanman. Deanman. Dean <laughs> and you can serve at my right hand. All we have to do is finish letting this slime monster consume everyone on campus. But you don't have any students, and that's a kind of a big disaster and really not a good move for a dean. No, indeed. You see, we'll turn it into one of those exchange student universities where we don't teach crap and we charge lots of money for people from Saudi Arabia to come and party. We have a department it's a for that. It's a fiendish scheme, but that will be the whole university. <laughs> it's making us a lot of money. It's a really good department. Yes, but I want more than money. Will you join me, or must I destroy you with my slime beast? No. <laughs> so he's raising his fingers dramatically. <sighs> mm, honestly, I think it would be in your favor mm -hmm. to not destroy the entire campus. Just destroy like a building. And then you'll get enough of a scandal to get the previous dean out of office, okay. and then you can take over. That's actually a really good and point. And then you have the rest of the students are already paying a lot of money to go here. Okay. And you still have a staff, so you don't have to waste a lot of money restaffing. That's fair. And yeah, and then you can. That's not how we really do it in hell, but that's not a bad idea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, sounds good. Uh, why don't you make a skill check for me? What a. Uh, any of those make sense. Uh, you know what I'm Schmooze just gonna do? Great. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take a burnout and do charm offensive, which is assumes I get a seven to a nine. Whoa! Wow. Take a burnout then. You're gonna have to answer to your, uh, great, sounds to good. This guy. <laughs> to answer to this guy. <laughs> yeah, to this guy. So you're getting sucked up in, oh, you got knocked on your ass and a big pseudopod's coming around to just flatten you. Uh, you hit the black void and turn on the Segway, the Segway just starts getting crushed like a tin can into like the darkness, just like like an empty I'm tin gonna can. I'm going to pretend to cast a spell! Well, and then it all stops. Oh, that's a really great pretend to cast a spell roll. Pretend to cast a spell? Oh, yes. You gain experience. I know. Is the slime still coming towards me? No, it all stops. It all freezes. Okay, cool. It all freezes because of my Segway. It shudders and expels everyone out of it. <laughs> and they're all covered in slime and it's gross. It's Tender stops. Did that knife get expelled out too? Yeah, the knife probably did get expelled mm. out. I show you. What was the name of the demon? We didn't have one for it. What was the name of this demon? Uh, this demon was Azeroth. Azeroth? Whoa! <laughs> That's way above my weight here. <laughs> Azeroth! Little old girl. Uh. We're just going to uh, be the new building here in the middle of campus, Slime Central, where all the foreign exchange students will want to come. Wonderful, wonderful, very good, thank you. Oh, great deal. And with that, we get to a, a, a montage of the seasons changing. You guys are all okay. Uh, you're getting congratulated by the Dean for your heroic spells that you cast in the I center of the beast. I cast so beast. many great spells, you guys. Uh, Vanglorious, Vangloria? Vanglorix? Vanglorix, thank you. Vanglorix is like, shh, don't touch anybody, this was us. Mm -hmm. You get like a cushy job in the position like way up in the, the new building, which is just this slime blob. <laughs> it's really nice on the inside. Yeah, it's pretty good. You can make chambers and stuff like that in the mm -hmm. center of them, and they get a lot of foreign exchange demon students who come also, to work there. If you get a cramped office, it's really easy to make some space. Oh, you've got a, you've got a sweet office now. Mm -hmm. uh, your office is completely trashed. You've got nothing. <laughs> John cleans it up. You make John clean it up. You do have your cool demon slaying dagger. Yeah. But, I don't know. Uh, your report goes through no problem. <laughs> okay, everyone is like, she is. Possibly the best wizard we have. Super magic. <laughs> Definitely super magic. And we zoom out and we get like the seasons changing and like the tr leaves falling off the trees and getting stuck on the slime blob and then like the snows falling and like mounting over the slime blob and all of the, all of the rooftops and it all fades to a sepia tone. We pull out and then we get like, a, you know, when they do the end of the movie, the, <laughs> the final uh, shot of the campus and then there's a little plaque below it. Mm -hmm. End credits. 
Skate it through. Skate it through. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone succeeds. Yeah, and then probably the end credits have like snapshots behind of all you guys over the next few years. Being buddies, posing. <laughs> Yeah. In my tenure. Yeah, good tenure. Whatever, I scammed enough money off the students, I'm out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Flying your tandem bicycle away. Yeah. Yeah. ticket number. With just me on it. Well, that, that. I can afford to not have to share it with someone. <laughs> that was Pig Smoke, guys. Thanks for tuning in. This is a, a super wacky RPG world. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. It's very interesting to, get, to, to use that effect. It was such a different way of playing it than the dungeon world stuff. Um, Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that playthrough. It was pretty crazy, <laughs> but lots of fun. I had a lot of fun. Um, one of the things that's really interesting about the, the rule book for this is it's extremely vague and loose on what is pig smoke? What are the buildings? What is the layout? It's all kind of up to the people at the table, and I feel it's one of those games where it's like every time you play it or every new group you play it with, it's like a totally different game. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's... it's, it's uh, Purposely kind of tapping into that, like, like Unseen University in the Terry Pratchett it's, book. It's really collaborative. I mean, you're building a world together. It feels a little bit like improv, too, kind of the yes yeah. and. Super improv. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is, and it's way more, even the rule book is not focused on, like, like you know, a D&D rule book's like, here's, like, the 45-page chapter on combat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is, the entire RPG book is focused on storytelling. Well, and we all played it very differently. She's trying to show off that she's magical when she's not, and they're, you know, fighting it straight on, and my character could just kind of sit around the whole time making predict predictions and not really doing much of anything, and, everyone, and it was awesome. You guys were enjoying the hell out of it. You guys were doing nothing but trying to eat chicken nuggets. Which I think is chicken nuggets and terrible accents. <laughs> Woohoo! Which is a, a major, uh, a major uh, awesomeness. I think it should game. be written into the, into the game. Yes. Chicken nugget. Chicken nugget. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I just think it's, it, that's so cool that this game system allows for all of that. But yeah, it is the the rule book was actually very much like don't come in with a prepared plot, just get in with everybody and then just see where things go and wing it. Ooh, um, that's cool. Yeah, and it's it's set up actually to play. I kind of force things a little bit with a plot because we just had this one off, but it's set up to be like you play like four or five games over the course of like the academic year uh -huh. and you let people's interactions with NPCs and stuff kind of form their own plots and hmm. it says just kind of keep pressure on them. Cool. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. It was really interesting. So yeah. if you guys uh, like this, uh, you should definitely back them on Kickstarter. Check them out. Pig Smoke on Kickstarter now. It's totally great. Um, it's basically, I would say, just to sum it up, it's uh, like the Dungeon World system applied to Harry Potter universe mixed with like Terry Pratchett, <coughs> Unseen University mm -hmm. wizard stuff. It's got like goofy wackiness, magic spells ahoy, and fun imagination times. And super scalable. Yeah. yeah. Yes, super scalable. Play it with however many people. Mm. Yeah, and I like it. And it's just really well written. All the, the questions and everything like that mm -hmm. like, are just yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. Good suggestions. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. From all of us here from the Misadventures team, Magic Girl Squad. Oh, well, well, it's, it's wizardry. 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 That's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> and for Here. me, David Crennan, the, uh, oh, I can do that. There you go, yeah. Nice. It's, yeah. 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 I got one here. It's wizardry. wizardry. <laughs> all right, that's so dope. <laughs> <laughs> so from all of us and from me, David Crennan, we just want to say thank you so much for watching and good night. Bye. Bye.